Manchester. Here's, Here's Peter, Peter White. White. Good morning, Peter. Hey, bud, what's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is Tuesday, everyone. Good morning, Manchester. It's the morning show coming at you live from downtown Manchester right here on Elm Street at WMNH 95.3 FM. And it is Tuesday morning. We have 63 degrees, kind of a mixed bag today. And we have Daryl Dye on here. Good morning, Big Daryl. Good morning. Good morning, Daryl. Nice day today. Not a bad day. Yeah. No, no rain. rain. Oh, no rain today? I don't think so. I thought there were showers, but yeah. okay. If, if anything, later on. Boy, we really don't know our stuff, do we? Not a clue. Jeez. <laughs> we got to go talk to Al over at Macy's. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm sure he still pays attention to the, uh, to the, the weather. weather. Al Caprilli and everybody. Yeah, we're not meteorologists. No, we're not. We La- just guess. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. It's Tuesday morning. Easy G is here. Good morning. Yes, Lee. I'm going to try this one more time so you didn't hear it. What? A shout out to my physical therapist, Melissa. Oh, boy. It sounds You like this girl, Melissa, don't you? Well, she's a married lady, but if you didn't hear the yeah. shout out, so I'll try it one more time. Oh, right, right. I'm sure she heard it. Right, and I'm it, sure she heard it, yes. And later on, I will release all the sheets of the Summerfest 2019. Oh. Had a nice conversation with Melody in stereo today, so it will be coming on the entertainment report. I'll be flipping it over and let everybody know what's up. All right, I hope we have time for that this morning because we got a very, very busy show this morning. Uh, I hope we'll, so. We will have Chrissy and Jen coming in to talk about my experience last Friday over at Chill Spa. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. That should be great. Uh, they will be here. I got Mike Lopez on the schedule, but I don't know if it's from last week or, or I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe we'll see Mike. So uh, phone lines are open all morning, 250-6007. We'll say good morning to... Uh, Everyone in the Facebook live room, uh, Jan Bopelot, good morning. Uh, Debbie Lorendo, good morning. Amy Hazard King, good morning. And Bill Burke, good morning. Good morning. I'm going to tell you, Bill Burke's a great guy. He works right around the corner. Really? What's he do? Well, see, it took me a while to put the guy, like my new Facebook friend, with the guy that's over there. Uh, he, he uh, I believe he works for, uh, you know, parking enforcement or in okay. the parking division. or uh, Yes. Yes, right over here. Got it. Right around the corner. But I see him drive by, always gives me a wave. I met him, too. Oh, you did? Well, I'm talking about my experience right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much, (laughs) sir. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Sorry, I want to keep the day off on a good note. Right. Let's say good morning to Carol (laughs) Romano. Good morning, Carol. Good Good morning, Carol. Carol. Very good. So, Carol should be back in town. All right. Yes. So, it is Tuesday morning. We are here. We have uh, have great news. Daryl and I, uh, how do you like our T-shirts, I don't like them at all. Do Why? <laughs> Why don't you like these T-shirts? These are great T-shirts. I'm gonna let something out of the bag. That Golden Rod, they don't make their own ice cream. Okay. So what do you think? Our ice cream is better because we didn't even we, 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 uh, uh, we didn't uh, uh, even uh, uh, mention we didn't even mention Golden Rod. You did. Yes. Right. What are you talking about? I just our ice cream is better because our, our well, no one asked made. about the ice cream. We're talking about the T-shirts. I don't like them. Well, why don't you like them? Because I work at the competition. You what? Uh, no competition. These are great T-shirts, man. Well, hey, thank you, you asked for my opinion, and I gave it to you. Well, we want to yeah. thank Goldenrod out there for uh, complimentary T-shirts. Yes. Thank you so much, Goldenrod. Oh, the, guy, the guy was terrific. What a great guy, yeah. right? Rich. I've been going to Goldenrod since I was a kid, but I've been going to Creamland since I was a kid, too. Absolutely. But I would say I've, I've probably been to Goldenrod more. That was generally more in your neighborhood as well, right? Right. And my grand- yeah, my grandmother was right up there, so Absolutely. we spent a lot of time there. Yep. So, uh, very nice. Thank you again to uh, Goldenrod of Rich Manchester. At, Rich at Goldenrod. Right. Over there. How long have they been there? Many years, right? Mm. Forever. Right. They, I Ever mean, since I was a kid. Well, they, They've been there over 100 years. I checked their website yesterday. 100 years? Wow. Yeah, over 100 years. I don't know if it's been 100 years. What it said on their Facebook page. They've been making it 1919. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Yikes. But, uh, yeah, great, great, uh, great fried clams over there. I love the bag. You get them right at the window. And you can go inside and eat. Yes, you can. What's so great about that? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Well, you, asking you a question. You, you, you avoid, avoid the no elements if you you're inside. You can go inside and eat. Is there a bathroom available? Absolutely. Yeah, there is. 
All right. Well, if they, they couldn't allow people inside to to eat if there wasn't a bathroom. Right. All right. They have to have it. It's a you know health uh, All right. thing. I haven't been there. In a long Where do you time, go to the so bathroom? You need to you need to go there. Where do you go to the bathroom at Creamland? Oh, you have to go home to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh. okay. Goldenrod one. Let's see. Gold, Goldenrod <laughs> one. Creamland. Well, Creamland nothing. is more of a drive-in. You drive in, you get the food, then you go home, or you pick it up and you go home. Well, well, Goldenrod's also a drive-in. Yes. <laughs> yes, Golden Road is also a drive-in. Different, so, different uh, flights for different folks. Well, I understand that, but I'm just Plenty saying. of business for everybody. So Golden Rod 1, Absolutely. Creamland 0. <laughs> I just think it's a better restaurant because I work there. Well, well okay. Well, well, naturally. Really? Yeah, but that's, that's not opinion. an objective opinion. It's not objective because you actually work there. Right. Well, How would you know? See, we're much more objective because you, 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 we don't just work at either you, place. Just because you work somewhere... You don't like the other thing? I always think my, the place where I work at is always better because I work there. I always oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. But you no matter where I work. And I've worked a lot of places. <laughs> right, I'm sure you have. <laughs> almost as many as Daryl. Really? Almost as many as Daryl? I doubt it. I well, doubt it. Daryl has uh, worked just about everywhere. That's all about it. Really? You got a physical count? Oh, uh, over 50 probably. What is that thing on your head? My father gave me that as a headband. Oh, okay. Oh, excellent. I just I noticed our t shirt. something new, a new look. A new look, a headband. I've never worn one in 51 years. Right. So I try to try that out. Maybe today. you'll start a new fad. Well, some people, some of the ladies wear that at work, so I'm going to joke around with them today. I want to look oh, like that. should be fun. The ladies wear it. Okay. Yeah, because they don't want to wear a hat, so. All right. You know, the ladies are with their hair. Right, that's true. Well, They're, guys as well, they got to keep their hair out of the product. And that's the, true. One of the ladies yesterday was saying, Do my hair look dumb? And I didn't say anything because you don't want right, to criticize can't. anybody <laughs> from his hair. No. We, like, if you want to be on their good side. All right, guys, how many times. Does your significant other come out and say, "Hey, how does this look?" Right. And what are you supposed to say? Like, do you do you do we all go through the same thing? Pretty much. Right. Like, oh, good. Looks fab. Yeah. Wow. That's great. <laughs> like, have you? Has anyone ever said, "Huh, oh, honey, I don't know." <laughs> well, <laughs> like, you risk. I don't know uh, about that one. Yeah. Don't wear that. There's a lot of risk uh, involved with uh, right. the negative response. Right. It says goldenrod in big letters on the back. Did Great. you see that? I think this you could probably see it from a mile away. I think there's a car back there, too. No way. Oh, boy. Amazing. You guys are too much. You know, an antique car? Yeah. Like no, they have no kidding. Every, I think, do they still do that every Thursday? Did you get anything to eat over at Goldenrod yesterday? Uh, sadly, no. I just, uh, I just uh, scooped up the T-shirts and uh, thanked that was them great. very much. That was really great. Complimentary T-shirts from Goldenrod. Well, I had to inform him of the story. There is a story accompanying the... Right, right. We call it Request the Goldenrod versus Creamland. Style. Absolutely. We've, we've and started it was all a, done in good fun. Yeah, we've all started a uh, a friendly battle. Absolutely. Oh, the, when the guy heard the story, it was so funny. Then he, you know, he went off to get the T-shirts, and he comes back and says, "You know, what do you need for the T-shirts?" Oh, this is a freebie. Really? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's it looking in there since the remodel? Looks fabulous. Really? Yeah, they're still working on the roof. I think. Okay. A little roof job. Okay. But oh, what, uh, what's wrong with the roof? Right <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't ask. Oh, maybe a leak. Well, yeah. You'd like that, wouldn't you? you you'd like Tom, would you like oh, that I, leak, I, I, leak I, on all the food? I, I the like leak that. on all the you food like, products. You wish, no, I would. Why, I do you wish, like why do you wish Goldenrod bad bad things? I don't wish them bad Leakage. things. I was just asking. No, you do. No, I you don't. Do. No, I don't put words in my mouth. Well, I'm just saying. You hope that you just said, oh, no, is there a leak in their roof? Yeah, well, I hope it gets fixed. Oh, all right. Well, that's why they're up there. I don't wish anybody bad vibes. I hope not. I hope not. You know me very well. well I, I know. That's why I'm we're, surprised. We're buddies. I'm surprised <laughs> at the way you're acting because we have Goldenrod t shirts on. Yeah, this makes for good radio back and forth. Here. Well, no, but I'm just saying. I mean, are these, do, now, do you like these t shirts better than your t shirt? Uh, I personally like mine because like, orange is my favorite color. Orange is your favorite color. <laughs> the color of life. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Orange is the color of life? I've that's never what, heard no, that. Megan told me over a few months. So. Really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know either. Are all the t-shirts? That's how they get you to wear the orange shirts. Absolutely. Are all the t-shirts at Creamland the same color? No, you can get whatever color you want. Oh really? Oh, right now we're out though because she has to order some more. Oh okay, it's a hot item. Very hot. I actually yesterday. You think there's more Creamland t-shirts, Daryl, than Goldenrod? Did he have a big sack of them somewhere? I didn't see them. Seems like these would be hot items. Yes. You know what I thought was weird though was that uh, well it was early though I was there at at, as soon as they opened at eleven. I only saw two employees and neither one of them had the t-shirt on so it, it may be something that they wear later on in the day or whatever oh okay would oh. assume they'd wear you know, right 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 the goldenrod t-shirt so what kind of ice cream does uh, goldenrod sell i i i assume 
Uh, of course, I haven't had any for a long time, but it's it's really good. And I thought they made their own, but Easy G has some. No, uh, it tells me that uh, somebody told me I can't I can't reveal the information. But it, it, well, you tell right. We just did. They get yeah. their informa- They get their ice cream from Blake. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I think you might be right. Yeah, that's entirely possible. I think I may have heard that in the past. And Blake's great ice cream. That's true. Yeah, and that's no Some competition go- at all with Creamland. Right. right, really. Right. Do you think you guys sell more seafood or more ice cream over there at Creamland? Uh, I don't know. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know. You would think you would know. You. you would think you would know because you work there. All I know. I don't is even make, work. All there. I know is we make our own ice cream there. So. Right. Who makes the ice cream? Nicole does. Oh, okay. How yeah. many flavors are over there? A lot. <laughs> well, how many? How many flavors? Uh, I haven't counted them, but she spends many oh, hours. Oh, you work there, <laughs> man. Well, do you I ever work fly, in the ice cream division? No, I don't. So okay. Oh, okay. I do with the ice cream. I, okay. I do the uh, Do you like work. ice cream? I do, but it doesn't like me. So I do oh. the prep work and I do outside cleaning. Right. Cleaned a lot. Get so you chop? Cardboard and when is cruise night over at Creamland? Uh, I don't think they do that over there. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Goldenrod one, uh, two. Oh. Creamland zero. <laughs> Doesn't mean they can't do it in the future. Well, I don't know. You know, that would be a tough nut to crack because of the lack of space. Right. They exactly. don't have a lot of space, you know. All right. Well, uh, you know, they can try, though. Right. Try. Well, because Goldenrod just extended their uh, parking lot. Oh, often massive. does Goldenrod have a free ice cream day? Um, hmm. I'm not sure. We don't know. We'll have to investigate, though. That's a good one. I'm sure they do. Because tomorrow, does a- Creamland have a- free ARP ice cream? member is five to seven. Tomorrow. A- AARP members. Oh, yeah. what if you're not a member of the AARP? Then you don't get Forget one. So it's, not, it. so it's not free then? No. Well, it is free if you have an AARP membership. Which, which does that cost money? I don't, I don't think. It, it doesn't. It does, you asking me for it, a specific reason? It, it doesn't no. the first year. The first year is free. <laughs> and then after that, it's $12. I've been getting stuff from AARP for the last 20 years, and I have not entered that domain. And one of my folks tell me the first year is free, and after that, it's $12. Right. That's not a bad choice. Oh, to be in a oh, what's this over yeah. here? Oh, okay. What's this over here is? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we got you a Goldenrod t-shirt, too. Oh, what size? No, I'm just kidding. This isn't yours. I didn't think so. Why would we give you that? Right. When you were you know, like sleeping with the enemy. Right. I, I can wear it today to be funny. Oh, no. You see oh, the yeah, car? Look at see that. See the car? That's great. That's so cool. Goldenrod, uh, GoldenrodRestaurant.com. What yes. size is it? Uh, this one is... XL. An extra large, and this one is a my complimentary father, my, shirt. My father would wear it. Well, that's great, but this is not uh, uh, your dad's shirt, King of All Farts. Yeah. This is uh, a gift for Matt Compton. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Matt Compton. Yeah, Matt yeah. Compton. He deserved that, no doubt about right. it. Right. <clears throat> I still say we should do a show down there. Where? Golden Run? Okay. No, Creamland. Why? <laughs> because the boss wants to do it. Right. Yeah, but they don't open till eleven. No, I know mean, Matt would do this show at four. And he wants, he wants, you know, she specifically asked for you, Peter, to come along. Right. Specifically, Ooh. oh boy. I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking next month. What well, you think, well, what do you think? You think we can just? You think we <laughs> can just pick everything up? You, do you think we can just pick everything up and move? You know, just move it. Well, the boss wants like wants to do the show, so right. I would think you're the you would make it happen. <laughs> Why would okay? Okay, but that's a that's a lot of workies. Well, I mean, big, it would be for great radio. Oh, well, how do you, you know? Think? How do you know? Because it would be a lot of good. It would be. A if if I do one at Creamland, I got to do one at Goldenrod. Af- absolutely. Well, necessarily. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Unless, Equal unless, time, man. Equal unless, time. Unless they, they they don't want it to have you over there. Oh, they you, love us over they, at Goldenrod. What have we we've been talking right, well, about it for twenty minutes? They love us. All right. Well, <laughs> we, we could do one at both places then. What's wrong with that? Well, I don't know. That's a lot of work. Back in the day, you and Moose used to go on the road a lot. Yeah, we did. We did. That's why we don't do it anymore. <laughs> because it's Thanks a lot for of bringing work. up those memories, Ease. No, those are good memories. Great. How do you know they're good? How do you know they're good? I just visit you on the road a lot. Yeah, you, yeah, you have. So would you, you, you would go to the Golden Rod show? Uh, nah, probably, probably not. Well, oh. why, not, why wouldn't you go to you can How would I get there? It's like 10 miles away. Well, we'd figure out a way to get you there. Right. I don't think my boss would like that. Are you kidding? Well, she, she knows the it. guy at uh, Goldenrod. Why would I? Why would I hang out at Goldenrod? Well, why not? Because we're there. You just <laughs> said let's take the show on the road. All right. Well, if I have to do both shows, <laughs> I, I, I guess I would have to do both shows. You wouldn't be under the gun. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'd rather not. <laughs> Look at this Goldenrod. Goldenrod, baby. 
boy. Look at it. Can you see that, Ease? I, I can see it. It's hard way. to look at, isn't it? <laughs> Is it hard to look yeah. at? Or am I going to get ribbed today at work? <laughs> well, what do well you that's mean? the general idea. <laughs> oh, especially if the boss is listening now. Well, wait, do you now, think she listens? She does sometimes. Oh, good. I hope this is the day. Not every day she does. Well, who? Okay, here's a question. Who has the larger menu? Who sells more items? Ooh, that's a good one. You know, like like a menu. Can I you, took home a menu from Goldenrod yesterday. I think you can get smelts over at uh, Goldenrod. Quite possibly. I think you can get smelts. It what are smelts very, down? You, oh, very small little fishies. I used to eat them all the time. Oh. Sounds gross. It's, it's so funny. Kathy used to make them. She used to fry, uh, bread them yeah. and, and flour and fry them up. We loved them early smelts. on. Smelts. But one day I brought home the bag of smelts, and one of the smelts still had the head on. Ugh. That was the end of smelts. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. she freaked. It was no wild. It was well, both wild. places both places have a seafood sort of platter. So oh, that's sure, right? sure. Well, And everyone has clams. Everyone has scallops. I don't know if smelts are in that seafood plant. Maybe not. I would guess not. Maybe that's the Puritan I'm thinking of. They, well, they, they may have smelts, but not as in a combination. At place. Goldenrod, do they sell fresh haddock or is it frozen? Oh, it's a fresh. It's a, oh, yeah. All it's right. fresh. We're having trouble getting fresh haddock right now. That's because Goldenrod Boy, they need is... to get the Goldenrod to ask them to uh, chip in for some haddock. Right. Because I asked my boss about that. I said, how come there's no shortage at, at uh, T-Bones? He goes, it's frozen. Well, yeah. That's well, that's why. T-Bones. It's a chain. Yeah, but it's, I thought T-Bones was fresh food. Well, apparently with the haddock, the haddock is not. How do you know that, though? Because I asked my boss. Oh, because you, but whatever your boss says, you believe. Well, when it comes to haddock, I, I ask Right. Her. She knows a lot. She's been in the business for 35 years, so I, I trust she's her. She's been uh, here for 35 years? Yes, I trust her advice. Ooh. Right. Do you think she's ever eaten at Golden Run? Uh, probably. I don't know. It's a good question. I can ask her today. Yeah, why don't you ask her today? Find I think out. That'd be Find good. out for us. Yeah. I will. I'll get back to you on Friday. All right. Let's say good morning to our friend Nick Willard. <laughs> Uh, oh, I saw Nick, Nick on TV last night. Right. He's just back from Mexico. He's clean shaven. Right. You see him on TV? Yeah, I like, barely looks, recognize him. He looks 10 years younger. <laughs> he goes to Mexico for a week and, and you know. Yeah, I'll, I guess be, what he saw there was deplorable. Oh, of course it was. Horrible. I'll be seeing him on uh, Saturday, so see you Saturday, Nick, for the really polite game. Don't forget. Right. We got him a Golden Rod T-shirt also. He'll be wearing it uh, Saturday. Oh, oh, boy. Right. And a Golden Rod headband. Oh, boy. Because he heard that they're getting, you know, that's a new style. Yes. Oh, boy. All right. What is it, June 18th today? Something like that. Uh, All right. Uh, yes, June 18th. All right. It is, uh, let's see, Go Fishing Day, which is a great thing you can do this afternoon, Daryl, because you can go out to Massabesic Lake. you got to get a fishing license, right, of course, right. but <laughs> you go out to Massabesic Lake, fish all morning. Where are you going to go for lunch? I'm going to Golden Rod, and they're oh, going to fire it up for me. Oh boy. Sweet. Right in the fry later. Right, right by the lake. What a I, great backdrop. I know. I, I agree with Matt. I hate fishing. You hate what? I did it once with my uncle, and that was the last time I did it. Okay. Fishing, you need a lot of patience. I yeah. Don't, I don't have it. You know, I don't got it. No. All right. It's International Panic Day. <laughs> oh, boy. You were panicking because we had these T-shirts on. <laughs> yeah. No, I was panicking about something else we won't talk about. All right. What are you panicking about? Oh, uh, Daryl told me to calm down, so I'm not going to bring it up. What countdown? Uh, he's concerned about the... The ride. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. When? Uh, today. I should be able to pull it up, but I can't say for sure because I'm not in control today. Okay. And I'll, uh, you'll know the reason later on. All right. Very good. International mm -hmm. Picnic Day. Where are you uh -huh. going, Easy G? I'm going to use the bathroom. What? I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be back. Right in the middle of the show. <laughs> good thing this isn't Creamland. You'd have to go home and go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, this is brutal, man. All right. Uh, <laughs> International Picnic Day. You like, you, know, pic you, you like picnics? You get some food at, Cream uh, at Golden Run, just zip down to the, to the lake, and you're having a picnic. You're having a great <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> Instant great afternoon. <laughs> I got to tell you, the guy at Golden Rod was so, you know, he's listening to the story. And as I'm continuing and telling him, you know, the, the back and forth with Easy G, you know, at working at Creamline, he he understood it. He got it. He was smiling and laughing. It was great. It was great. <laughs> and he was so easy to give up the T-shirts. I mean, really. Right. This is beautiful. Well, <laughs> great material too. Yeah. I, I mean, very soft. Yeah. Well, they were kind of funky when I got them. So you know I what? They're I'd probably they're probably old employee T-shirts. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who knows? It was great though. Oh man, it was beautiful. Can't believe I have a goldenrod T-shirt. That's a great T-shirt to have. And I can't believe it took us this long to figure it out. 
Right. We could have had these weeks ago if I would have, my brain would have kicked in. Right. Why don't we think of stuff like I that? No. Man, we'll say good morning to Don T. Tibbetts. He says, uh, great seeing us, and he will see us in July. He's jetting off today. Right. Oh, yeah. And uh, Debbie Lorendo says maybe Creamland should come out with their own headbands. Yes. It's a new thing, Creamland. guys. It's a new thing. Yeah. Easy G could be starting a new thing. Where can you get headbands? I wasn't much can of a get, headband does, guy. Does Goldenrod sell headbands? I'm going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, where is Easy G? All right, uh, we have uh, International Sushi Day. Okay, do you eat sushi? You know, I'm trying, but I'm not a big fan. Right. I don't think they have that at Goldenrod. No, 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 no. Creamland either. No. All right, uh, National Cherry Tart Day. Well, cherry Tart. I don't think I've ever I don't had have, a cherry I don't tart. Have, yeah, I don't have a big experience with tarts. Yeah, it's just The only a... tart I've had an experience with is uh, a sweet tart. Sweet. You know those big... Uh, those big uh, roll of candies that oh, make your right, mouth bleed right. when you're a kid. <laughs> All right, it is National Splurge Day. So, Daryl, get out your wallet. Okay. We're going to Creamland. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cost you some serious bucks. Right. Well, what I didn't that. know is the back end. I didn't. I what I don't know, and I have to uh, obtain a uh, a menu from Creamland to see the difference. Right. Because I picked one up at, at Goldenrod while I was there. It was pretty expensive. It's, you know, there's a what lot of What does a drink people get that? Fresh fruit and lemon. Yeah, fresh fruit and orange. Right, right. They make them at both places, I think. I believe so. Right. But uh, the Golden Rod is, is expanded so much. Real? Oh, yeah. Well, well, the uh, Crystal Orchid got taken down because they moved. Blasted that right out of there. Right, but that Golden Rod needed that spot. Yeah. needed that parking. They really did. It's You know what it is? It's a, a pretty much a destination place. You know, right? Because what it affords, you know, not only can you get pretty good food, but you can travel on down a short a short drive, and have it at the at Massapequa Lake. It's awesome. Absolutely. And people and used to do that all the time. And don't forget that, that they're saying Matt and Paul have written a musical, a Goldenrod musical. Really? Oh yeah. You didn't know that? Apparently not. Oh right. <laughs> there's a there's a musical, and they've been working on it. And they like to perform it in front of Easy. <laughs> that would be nasty. Right, right. <laughs> you were gone for a long time, man. No, that was gone. <laughs> you were gone for a long time. Wasn't that long? Right. Oh my God, we can hear you shaking the building. All of Manchester could hear you stomping around. <laughs> Are you all right now? Can oh yeah, I'll be all right. Yeah, you sure? Oh yeah. Okay. We had Carol this morning, you know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I got a slide to tell her. Oh, you have something to tell her? Yeah, I'm going to keep it under the table till it's never <laughs> Really? Wow. Well, nothing bad. Well, good. All right. Very good. What else we got? Let me see. Goldenrod or Creamland? What do you think? The score is now 2 to 0. I should, see, I, Creamland should get a point because I work there. <laughs> well, why? Why? Why would they it's, get a you point? You know what it's called? It's called the Easy G effect. Yeah, right. right. Why, why would Why would they get a point? Because a lot of free advertising, and the, my boss likes that. Right. Great. She can't pay for all that free advertising. That's right. That it, she's been getting since March. Right. Yeah. Well, we talk about we talk about a lot of places in Manchester. Right. But we know that Goldenrod gets under your skin, so we. Uh... Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> See, the the key is here. You have to learn how not to let that get at you. Oh, it doesn't. Well, I got to give uh, Creamland a uh, a point here. Reluctantly. Not because not because Easy works there. It's because uh, Nick Willard says I love Goldenrod, but I'm a Creamland guy all the way, all the all day, every day. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Nick. Yes. There you go. <laughs> See, somebody out there likes Creamland. Of course. There's Lots nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with Creamland. Not at all. At all. It's just the back and forth of two really, really nice places right. to go. Two, two staples, really, oh, in Manchester. You know? Yeah, sadly, I didn't work at Goldenrod, No, you strangely didn't. enough. I know, how you think. A lot of high school kids, especially uh, central kids, go through uh, Goldenrod as a, as a, as a job. Absolutely. Good. Well, oh, yeah. Good when summer in, job. When yeah. they're in high school. I was talking to this, uh, shout out to Anthony. And, uh, Anthony, who's that? And, uh, he just graduated from Memorial. And I said, hey, you happen to know this guy, uh, Ben Dion. He goes, yeah, I had him for a teacher. 
I said, well, how, was he, uh, how was he as a teacher? I always have to ask, you know. He yeah. Said he was right. cool. Yeah. Uh, one for Ben. Wow. Put that down under the goldenrod uh, thing. Oh, you <laughs> What, the goldenrod? What did he say? He said something good about Ben, which trickles down to the goldenrod. Okay. Uh, one, three... vote for, one vote for Ben Dion. Yep. <laughs> yeah, vote for goldenrod. Three to one. And he heard about well, the... Well, you know what? We'll give, we'll give, you know what? We'll give an honorary point to Creamland from their probably... Uh, I'm not sure he goes there too much anymore, but uh, uh, Nick Willard says he used to go there with Mayor Gatsis, and I know Mayor Gatsis used to uh, go over to Creamland. Yeah. And oh yeah. Speaking of Mayor Gatsis, I saw him yesterday at Creamland. Oh okay, well, there you go. <laughs> so they get a point. They get a point. It's three to two. I have to look out the window and I tell my boss to call. I said, "There he is." And I, he said, "Well, go say hi." And I said, "Hey, good afternoon." And he said, oh, I, and, I, and that was the end of it. Did, did he, he recognize you? Did he of know? Course. Did he know who you were? Of course. And I said I invited him like, like a month ago to come to the. Since you invited him, I said, "Yeah." I said, "I told my work there." He said, well, he goes he, there anyway. He started to laugh, but he <laughs> goes. He him. didn't go there because you invited him. He goes there anyway. Right. That was the call was laughing. He used to go there with Charlie Sherman. There used to be, you know, pictures out there on Facebook. Oh, all right. Let's say good morning to Sarah Beaudry. Oh, good hi, morning. Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. Very nice. A lot of stuff going on around in the city, and you're announcing the uh, later on in the show. Yes, I will. In town, Manchester's the summer whole list. summer music series. The whole list. Yeah, I'm, al- I'm allowed to say it. So. And, and are you now? Has it been released yet? Can I look this up, or are you uh, laying it on us for the first time? Uh, I don't think it's even online yet. Really? Oh, really? So you're the definitive response. Yep. That's Ooh. amazing. They're gonna have some posters in a couple of weeks. I told them that you were uh, hanging one up on the wall, and I went up at the library. What if we treated you to lunch today? Basket? Treated you to lunch today at Goldenrod. Uh, I, I would probably accept it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you would accept it. A freebie. Yeah, yes, why not? he would. Why not? You know, this uh, you did here, it's Goldenrod. Yeah, why not? It's, it's best out the competition. And it, what you'd have to do is uh, you'd have to wear the Creamland T-shirt. Oh, definitely. Could you wear a Creamland T-shirt? That's like, you know. Well, that's inviting I, ridicule. I think I there's a wear, sign on the door that says no colors. I used to wear my Stop and Shop shirt and go to Market Basket. No way. And get a couple of dirty looks. Oh, well, really? Yeah. yeah, because you, when they, yeah. When they were He likes to stoke of, the fire, man. When they were throwing us out of business at the, uh, <clears throat> a couple of years ago. Right. Well, Stop and Shop wasn't doing too good. That's right. Where was Stop and Shop in Manchester? Which one did you work at? The one in Valley of Lincoln. Oh, the one by Creamland? Yep. Oh. Oh, right. My second job on Valley Street. Right. They've both been one of the best jobs I've ever had. So far, it's three to two here. Goldenrod is winning by just a, just, just one point. Just one point. I think that may change soon. All right, let's get Carol on the line. Right. She can put her two cents in to Goldenrod oh versus boy. Creamland. Oh boy. You're <laughs> listening to Peter White. Call us at 250-6007. It's the morning show. Good morning. This is your wake up call. From ManchesterInkling.com, here's Carol Robodo. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Peter. Good well, morning, Carol. Welcome uh, home. Morning, hey, Carol. Hey, Carol. I want Thank to tell you. you right off the bat Trixie uh, showed me how to do it. I uh, lost your inkling on my email. And she said, check your spam. And I did, and I, and I rolled it over to the inbox, and now I get it every day. Very good. Very so good. Shout out to Trixie from the in-town. Very good. Very nice. So it's always nice to get you a little update every day. We just got invited to lunch by Nick Willard over uh, over at Cr- to Creamland. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can do it today, though, Nick. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it today, but that's very nice of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I actually want to talk to him. He had an uh, uh, interesting time. Yeah. Away. Well, no, most definitely. I was surprised to see him without the beard. Right, right. Looks like 10 years younger. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Right. Nice to have you back, Carol. Thanks, yeah. Daryl. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here. Wasn't the same without you. Yeah. Well, it was It was a great, it had a great adventure. Yeah, I saw the photos. They're really nice. Well, thanks. Very nice. You had a good time? Oh, yeah. We had, a, it was perfect. Everything about it was just perfect. I can't, you know. I can't say enough about how much fun we had. The Airbnb was spectacular. The weather was picture perfect. Yeah, like the, you know, the event was wonderful. And yeah, you had, you had almost the whole family out there. Almost the whole family out there, and um, 
it was uh, yeah we we you know we saw a lot of cool stuff. Portland's a, a place of many cool things. We ate a lot of interesting food at a lot of wonderful places and just hung out and had a great time. You know, Jim had Father's Day while we were out there, so he was surrounded by by kids and that was great. And we yeah we, we checked out the dispensary right around the corner. There's a million of them. Oh really? And that was yeah that was interesting too. What kind of dispensary? What's that? Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. You know, mar- it was marijuana. Oh, okay. Marijuana. All yeah. right. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah, everybody, everybody's, uh, everybody's doing it. <laughs> right. It's just, uh, yeah. It's, you know, wow. Are you, know, you, are you high right now, Carol? <laughs> totally. No, I, uh, I got some, uh, I got some CBD cream. I wasn't going to get it, but my son bought it for me for my, for my bum knee. Uh, so I, Using that and um, does it doesn't yeah, work? It was fun. Um, it's just that doesn't hurt. <laughs> so yeah, that's been, right. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, so anyway, yeah. But enough about me. I mean, you know, we're back in we're back oh, into reality. Gnarly. A friend of mine works yeah. over in Port Argos. He's a priest over there. A priest. Oh, I was in. Yeah. Yeah. A priest, uh, huh? Yeah. A friend of a, a priest friend of yours. Yeah. The lady friend of mine. Oh really? Yeah. She's yeah, a lady. She's a lady priest. Yeah, Catherine. She's uh, used to live over here. And now she's a priest over there at Port Orgos for a couple of years now. In what? In what church? In the uh, Congregational. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't allow that we in the Catholic church. We didn't make it to church. So. Yeah, you just made it to the uh, dispensary. We did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But, very yeah. good. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, your daughter looked very yeah. happy. Oh yeah. Oh, she she was very happy. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So did I miss anything? Well, there's a lot of controversy going on here this morning. <laughs> yeah, I picked up on that. I didn't know if that was prompted by something, uh, well, you know, something that I missed. Or well, Daryl and I are wearing these great goldenrod T-shirts that were uh, that uh, <laughs> complimentary goldenrod T-shirts from Goldenrod. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah, they're really nice. They say goldenrod on the back. You can see it from a mile away. <laughs> it really is, and, and, and Eric's uncomfortable with it. Well, I guess I can understand that. He's hoping there's a leak in Goldenrod's roof. No, I am not. Don't put words in my mouth. I don't wish anybody any any bad vibes. I'm not that kind of guy. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell your priest friend. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of priest friends. Uh, okay. You have a lot of priest friends? I do. Okay. I have a little mixture of friends. All right. It's Carol's time now. Okay, that's fine. All right. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> so, Carol, welcome back. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, well, we had the Pride Day in, uh, in Manchester. Yeah, how did that go? I got, I, we did get a story up. I had. I, I signed a, a correspondent to, to go and get some photos and hang out. Looks like it was a big success. Yeah, did you yeah. Hang, did you go? Yeah. I went to the Pride Flag Festival and I met uh, uh, the Pride Flag uh, Rising and I met Chris Pappas for the first time. Shook his hand, introduced nice. myself, and said thanks for the good work. And oh, great speech too! He gave like a three-minute speech. It was great. Right, you were there. I was. I, I heard his speech too. Were you there in the afternoon? Yeah, three o'clock. Yeah, I was there. I was oh, there at three. I, I didn't see you. Wow, you were probably avoiding me. Yeah. <laughs> no, you weren't there because you were at Chill Spa. No, that was Friday. That was Friday. It was the same day as the uh, the, the uh, rising of the, of the flag. No, the, not the block party, was it? No. I'm talking about the pride flag at 3 o'clock on Friday. I wasn't there. Let's take this call. <laughs> All right, there you go. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah, good morning. All right. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. So, all right, Carol. Um, it's not me. I'm here. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Yeah, so so <laughs> since you've been gone, let's see, uh, the Pride Festival, I had Botox, I, uh, <laughs> let's see. Did what, you really have Botox? Uh, uh, what else did you uh, have? Yeah, he uh, really oh, did. You can't, you can't Apparently just he did. over that part. <laughs> right. So you, did, you went to, yeah, you, I guess you're going to talk about that when Chrissy makes it in there. So oh, yeah. I don't want to steal her thunder, but. <laughs> yes. Wow, Peter, yeah. that's kind of amazing. That's it's, why I have no emotion on my face. <laughs> Yeah, it's stiff as a well, board. Now we know. Now, now there's a reason. Yeah, it's yeah. just you know because it ta- it still it still doesn't take full effect for like two weeks. Oh, boy. Really? Oh yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I'm I'm a little afraid of Botox. Isn't it like yeah. a weird 
you're injecting like some kind of a live a live organism or something oh, into yeah, your you body. Oh, yeah, you can feel it moving around in there. It's Nothing stopping. I would do. Yeah. It, 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 it yeah. talks to you at night. <laughs> Nothing I would do. Thank you very much. Not a chance. Right. No, I'm not Botox guy. No, Zero no, chance. No. Zero chance, um, Ben. I That's, mean, Ben, I mean, Daryl. <laughs> you wouldn't get Botox? Zero chance. Why? Because I... Well, uh, it's probably not, because you you're wearing a headband. It covers up your uh, wrinkly forehead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind having wrinkles. Okay. No one said the wrink wrinkles are fine. I'm perfect as, as, as I am. You are perfect, yes. You are perfect. So, Carol, I'm going to have to ask you, goldenrod yeah. or creamland? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, goldenrod or... Well, I think they both have their, their place. I mean, you know, I, I think for us, because goldenrod is closer to my home, it's a more, uh, you know... Convenient, yes. ...option. You know, it's conveniently close. Um I, I like Creamland. I don't really like, like if I if I go to Creamland, I don't like that I have to sit outside on a bench um, because there's bees and yes. sometimes people leave their sloppy mess on the table. Yes, you know, there's they no do. like nobody's cleaning up the yeah. The who's, mess. whose job is it to clean up around there? Or I, I do that when I get there. Oh, that makes sense now. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe now that Eric's there, maybe they'll they'll be they'll, it'll be a better experience, better customer experience, but. Um, you're gonna go with golden. Yeah. You're going with goldenrod. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't want to play favorites. So to you might have to like, today. Oh, nice. oh. Yeah, yeah. We're, I mean, we're sporting the goldenrod T-shirts. Yes. I'm sporting the cream lane T-shirt. Right. Yeah. Well, Daryl and I. Are, okay, this is what's going on. We're, <laughs> we're, maybe we could be uh, complimentary uh, workers for an hour over at cream uh, over at. Uh, oh yeah, I give at up golden my time rod. for that. Sure. Oh yeah. Sure. Work work the window. Right. When the people come up. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, yeah, I like a chocolate uh, ice cream cone. Uh, forget about it. You're getting vanilla today. Right. <laughs> oh, vanilla, vanilla gorilla. So Carol, I uh, don't mean to put pressure on you, but uh, <laughs> goldenrod <laughs> or Creamland? Well, gosh, I feel bad about this, but I'm going to have to say goldenrod. I think just All right. because. All right, goldenrod just, with four. Just because. It has a little bit more sense of place, and I don't like that. I don't like the way it looks at Creamland when they board it up for the season. Okay. It makes it look like it's, you know, like it's a shuttered business. Yeah, it and looks shabby. That, yeah, yeah. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't Why isn't really... it open in the winter? Oh yeah, no place to go. <laughs> right. It's yeah, too cold. But... Yeah. No, why can't they put a make a dining room in there? Because, you know, in the 80s, Creamland, uh, Too small. They, they extended the building, though, right. out and made that new ice cream area for right. a while, sometime right. in the late 80s. Yeah. And they could have they could have gone further and just built it up and created a, a dining space inside. I think so. They may have dropped the ball. Right. But maybe not. Yeah. Well, let's take this call. Try again. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. A, a vote for Goldenrod. Okay, right. <laughs> a vote for Goldenrod. Who's this, sir? Colin. All right, Colin, thank you so much. Thank we'll you. We'll see you over at Goldenrod, man. Thank you. Mm, all right. Jeez, that was unsolicited. Right, we didn't even ask for that one. <laughs> oh, boy. Five to two. Here we go. Five to two. And the game is Goldenrod gone. is... Uh, is we played this game like a month ago. I mean. Right, we're playing it live on the air now. That was a Facebook live poll. This All is right. this. I mean, this is an actual. That, this is an actual live. You know, you, to 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 get a vote for these, you have to. We have to talk to somebody. It doesn't really matter though. They're still good, two good restaurants. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Of course they are. They're absolutely. both great. Right. Check. You know, check them out both. That's what we uh, we say. Right. And we'll see you over at Goldenrod, maybe <laughs> at the lake. We'll see you at Greenway. You know, I got to get a menu from Creamland so I can make that comparison. Right. So we'll have that uh, soon. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Do yeah. they have the, they got menus that you can take home? No, we don't have any. What do you mean? I asked. They don't have them. Oh wait a second. So Goldenrod does, right? Oh, oh yeah, I got they one. do. Okay, Goldenrod gets another one for having a menu you can take home. Thank you very much. Wow, fair enough, right? We're just doing those are the facts, righties. Yeah. Okay. So they they really don't have a menu that you can grab up? Nope. Okay. All right. I'm going there anyway. All right. And take a picture of the menu. Now, who's the, uh, who's the boss? Nicole? Yep. Okay, I'll be seeing her soon. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carol. 
I can um, only tell you the truth. All right. Right. We don't have a big pile of them back. I know that. I've seen them. So a lot of news happening. Carol? Yeah, we have uh, the launch of the, of the um, I'm pretty sure, I'm so out of touch, but don't <laughs> we have the launch of the farmer's market this week? Yep, Thursday, yep, 3.30. Yeah. That's I mean, three the double, yeah. double tree, right? 3 to 6.30, that, yep. That says spring. I mean, spring is over and summer is here. Right, it right. It says spring. It does not say spring. It says summer is here. That's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it this On year. On Friday. No, it's Thursday, uh, uh, Peter. What's that now? Thursday is farmer's market. Thursday. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about summer, Eric. Oh, yeah, summer, <laughs> yeah. You're right. That's You're right. Friday. <laughs> You're right. First day of summer, yep. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, okay, wow. Farmer's Market's always fun. Now it's over there by the Doubletree again, of course. Yep. That was yeah. a great, that, they did a great job last year. Only can get better this year. We'll say good uh, good morning to our friend uh, Pandora Morin. Good morning, uh, Pandora. Good morning, Pandora. Oh, hi, Pandora. She listens to the Matt show, too. She uh, right. sent a song in to him yesterday. Michael Alber says, uh, Creamland looks shabby, even when it's open. Mm-hmm. That's not very nice. Yeah, that's not very nice. Well, I mean, good, I, you know, we should, we should be no we should menus, be, no bathrooms. We should we we should be supportive of all our businesses. Absolutely, all right. absolutely. In spite of the fact that it looks shabby. Well, just keep it <laughs> just keep it on the positive, or don't say anything at all. And no bathrooms. Well, then it, we're being positive. We like both places. I mean, I'll talk about I that mean, person that, on I'll, Facebook. <clears throat> Michael Alber, you have a problem with Michael Alber? Uh-oh. It's going to be negative. Yeah. Really. Yep. Wow. We don't have a third-party option today, Michael. Uh, the Puritan is not in there. We'll do that another morning. Try the Puritan. Sneak in the Puritan. We'll, 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 get, an, we'll get another rivalry going. We should have brackets here now. Yeah. This is, this is round one. What about mm-hmm. that place out in, uh, is it uh, Hooks It? That red roof? Uh, oh, the brick house. The brick house. Right, right, right. Yeah, no thanks. No, that's too far away. No thanks. Right now, we're concentrating on Goldenrod in Creamland and Carol and her right. and her and her thing. <laughs> right, right, Carol. Right, right. Oh boy. All right, back yeah, to. Yeah, we got go the, ahead. The, the great the great news. Uh, this isn't really great news. I'm just being being silly, but you know, we had several. We took several flights. The first one, I don't even know how it happened. I think it's because they removed like a certain uh, airplane from the mix. You know, Southwest announced like they had to pull a bunch of airplanes earlier, like maybe in April or May. So that that changed our flight. At oh. some point, they notified oh, really? me, but I didn't. I didn't really look it up until it happened. We flew from Manchester to Chicago, from Chicago to Nebraska, Whoa. from Nebraska to Vegas, and then from Vegas to Portland. Interesting uh, transcontinental trip. Oh my god! It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, and you had going get... home. That's crazy. Going home, we went from Portland to Vegas, and then from Vegas to Baltimore, and then from Baltimore to Manchester. Uh, So, of course, we did what anybody would do. Oh, I know, Carol. Let me guess. Let me guess. You you got off the plane. Before you went home, (laughs) you went over to Goldenrod. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, but we did order drinks thinking, well, well, we might as well just enjoy, you know, we're going to be flying for hours and hours. Absolutely. No matter when we tried to order drinks, yeah, they never charged us. Like they forgot. There was like one time that we ordered um, mimosas. It was pretty early, and um, then there was a little turbulence, so everybody had you know, the flight attendants had to sit down. And then they forgot. They forgot about us. And then, and then the second time we ordered drinks, the, the guy came over and he said something about like we were getting a complimentary drink for some random reason. I forget why. And then oh. on the last flight, they brought us our our drinks, and then. And then they never came back to ask us for money. So we felt Ooh. we felt like it was meant to be. You know, it was wow. like it was, the universe was conspiring and <laughs> helping us to have a really relaxing, fun flight. So, so not only cool. did you, were you at the dispensary, you, you did some drinking on the plane. We did, and and then you know we the fun <laughs> the, we we sat next to this cool passenger on the first flight from Omaha to Vegas. She's this like she's like a farmer, like her industry is like the the, the industry that waters the corn crops they make those big sprinklers or whatever so she's kind of like a farming magnate but she was heading to vegas to participate in the world series of poker and and she was was gorgeous she was this gorgeous blonde like a scandinavian looking you know probably about 40 45 just 
you know, she looked like, you know, an entertainer or something. She looked a, a beautiful, but she was really super like Midwestern down to earth. And she learned to play poker from her dad. When wow. She was a little girl who was a Navy SEAL. And now when she's, you know, she takes a break from the farm, she goes to play poker. And um, so I'm going to have to look up and see how she did. But, oh, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that was like, we, we met cool. all these cool people. Yeah, so we had, it was fun. That's like the best part of traveling. You always sit next to people that are interesting. And I use my, you know, interview skills <laughs> to find out everything <laughs> I can about them. But yeah, she was cool. And um, in general, it was just, you know, everybody who, who's who's traveled somewhere to see a kid graduate from someplace knows the feeling. It's kind of just a, a great feeling to see the end of a, end of a experience. You know, oh, yeah. it's like a milestone for us. Absolutely. So, so the baby ne- of the family when what's, graduated. So. What's next for your daughter now that she graduated? Oh, she got a what's, job at Goldenrod. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. She starts next week. Um, no, no way. She, she's, she, no, no way. She's staying out there for a while. She's got some things to wrap up. And then she's going to go s- travel with some of her college friends. They're going to hit Europe for Ooh. like three weeks or something. That's she's bringing, she's bringing the, golden, the Goldenrod brand to Europe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun for her. That's going to be great. Happy happy trails. Happy trails is right. Yeah. That's really great. So now that we're home, we're hoping for swimming weather. The pool's been ready for like a month. (laughs) Well, according to Daryl, he says it's going to be a great day today. But warm enough to swim? Uh, That could be doubtful. Yesterday was. Yeah. Hmm. The only thing in the day it might rain a lot is uh, this week is uh, Thursday into Friday morning. We're supposed to get a lot of rain in Massachusetts today, but I think it's supposed to stay away. Well, thank you, Eve. We appreciate that. According to Channel 10. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What did you guys do for the weekend? Did you talk about that already? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I went to the, uh, there was a, uh, a festival at St. Nicholas's Church in our neighborhood, Carol, and I went there on Saturday. It was terrific. Oh, yeah, the annual, the annual uh, food food moment where yeah. they dish up all that delicious food. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And uh, I love the Greek music. Uh, very good crowd. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a yearly thing. It's, it's awesome. What's going on over there? Yeah, we're just uh, just uh, talking to some guests. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's cool. Well, yeah, it's going to take me like a day to fully Re- integrate back into my life, but um, yeah, reorientation. But <laughs> yeah, but I'm really I'm happy to be back, and I'm glad everybody's uh, doing fine and had a good week. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Samantha took me to. Uh, and I'd never been. Uh, I don't, I'm not a shopper, but she took me to the, uh, the those Merrimack uh, outlets. Oh, you have you never been? I've only been once, and it was in the distant past, so I, I really didn't uh, remember much about it. But I didn't realize that they have uh, uh, stores that uh, just have a singular item. In other words, we went to Skechers. I didn't even realize that they would have you know that kind of place. All Skechers all the time. Skechers all the time. So. I got a couple of, uh, I needed to get some slip-ons because when I get up in the morning, I'm going to want to have uh, some good support for my flat feet. So I bought a couple of pairs of Skechers. Uh, or actually, Samantha bought a couple of pairs of Skechers for me. Buy one, the other one was 50% off. It was awesome. Oh, was that Father's Day? Yes, it was. Nice. Yeah, it was great. It was a great day. And uh, went out to supper with the kids uh, on uh, Sunday, uh, the actual Father's Day. Where did you go, may I ask? Um, geez. Uh, went to Giorgio's. And oh, this was right. this was uh, I used a complimentary uh, a gift card that uh, Carol presented to me. Oh wow! Yeah, it was funny. When, I, uh, hope, I hope you had a good a good time. Oh, it was awesome! It was great. I had for the first time in many many moons, uh, I had lasagna. I don't generally eat that anymore. Yeah, me and my folks went to T Bones and they uh, they were really busy, so we got there early, which was good. And then the uh, Kind of waited a long time for the advertiser. So the uh, even though we had ten dollars off in the advertiser, when we got the final bill, the uh, my friend Kayla who was the waitress. He said uh, it's on the house. So I finally got a free advertiser. It happened to be his birthday and his Father's Day. Very so nice. So he saved sixteen dollars. 
after after a little excess waiting on the appetizer. So that was really nice. It, the uh, because the uh, saving sixteen dollars is always fun. Oh yeah. They had a good meal. Always oh, good stuff at Tebow over in Bedford. So shout out to that restaurant. So how was the? Uh, did you have any interesting uh, uh, food experiences in Portland? Well, we, yeah. I mean, we went to this one place. It was sort of Cajun, and we Ooh. got um, frogs legs. And Cut it out. How were oh. they? They were great. Yeah, but they. But I have to say, um, my expectations were high. Because the last time I had frog's legs was at Madeer's, and they were perfection. Really? At Madeer's. They were so good. And these were not as good. They were okay. Okay. But um, the best part of this place was they, when you have leftovers, like if you don't finish your meal, they take them to the kitchen, and they and they put them in aluminum foil, and then they sculpt, the, they sculpt them into animals or whatever oh, cut it so, out. <laughs> so my son got a big crab like with little claws sticking out my daughter got a little mouse to little mount foil mouse and jim got a whale oh and, cool um, yeah it was cool that was fun that's interesting and there was not the, everybody does that yeah and they had like a really cool uh, it was like a rooftop place where you wouldn't see it from the road but it was like around the back of a building and then you'd go up to the top floor and it was like really really crowded but um, they were like cooking food on on the roof, and you know. Really? Like, Ooh. Yeah, it was it was fun, and so there, you know, I mean, there, there's many things, but that everybody wasn't there, so it's not that I don't think it's that interesting to people to hear about my adventures, but you know, but it was it was really nice, and and it makes so we started talking about where else can we go as a family, like just for fun, to right. hang out, and plan some vacation. So you know, family is family is great. Family is everything. Absolutely. Hey, uh, uh, Carol, i got to ask. Um, I, I've heard, uh, because I haven't had frog legs, Do they? T- does it taste like chicken? It does. It okay. Does, it resembles chicken a lot, but um, it does have a little bit of a seafood taste to it, I think. Okay. I guess that's the best way I would describe it. Does uh, Does Rob offer those at Madeira's all the time or just specialty uh, nights or something? I don't I don't know. I have to – I don't think they're always there. But, okay. But they, they – um, I think maybe they have to be in season. Perhaps, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't go out to the local swamp and get them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because <laughs> for a while it's just like tadpole season, and right. like, what can you do about that? You know, there's no, there's yeah, no yeah. Uh, Carol, okay. did, would you ever try a uh, uh, pig's feet and liver? Do you like those foods? Um, I've never had mm. the um, the inclination to try them. Um, I mean, I've I've had liver over the years. Not, not yeah, I like liver. liver. I like liver chicken, and onions. Chicken livers, yeah. chicken livers are good, and oh, yeah. and um, I guess uh, beef liver. I don't know if I've really ever had that. My father, the king of but, all farts, the, you know, my his mother used to cook that food. My 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 mother will not cook it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people feel that way about liver. I guess. Yeah, yeah. This is, you know what? That's a yeah. terrific meal: liver and onions and bacon. Yeah, my, my that's mother, a nice. Combo. My mother won't cook it, so my father does not eat it. <laughs> yeah, Kathy used to prepare it really well, and uh, uh, I basically don't eat it anymore because uh, nobody can cook it as well as Kathy can. There you go. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna um, exit myself. I feel a little boring this morning. I'm sorry, but I'm still adjusting to the, to the time change. And <laughs> well, you're, when you're... did you When did you get in yesterday, uh, Carol? Um, got in around one a.m. Oh so. boy. Oh, so yeah. so you, you got in Tuesday morning. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can see where you might be somewhat uh, disoriented. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that time zone yeah, can I really don't... mess you up. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm 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 not always that entertaining anyway. But I oh, feel t- especially I feel a little bit <laughs> lackluster today, so I don't want to disappoint anybody. Who's sitting there waiting for the fun to come back? So. You're fine, Carol. Don't Carol, worry. you never disappoint. I got to tell you oh, right well. up front. <laughs> well, that's awfully sweet, but I do, I do feel it today. I feel a little bit a little bit off. <laughs> yeah, uh, Giorgio's was was wild on uh, Sunday night. Um, uh, everybody had uh, the all the food was great, but they really packed us in tight. Uh, it, you know, it's so funny because when Samuel and Sam got there before uh, Ben and I and Ashley, and uh, uh, they they said you know in the future you might want to call and make reservations. It was very interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I you know I've said it many times. We are huge fans of Giorgio's. We mm. love it there. We, we love the um, 
the food and the atmosphere and oh, it was great. The, especially love the Manhattans. Oh, the, uh, I did not have a Manhattan, sadly. I did not. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. Carol, let's take this call. Oh, okay. yeah. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. I wanted to give another vote for Goldenrod. All right. Definitely Goldenrod. <laughs> okay. Goldenrod it is. Who's this? Chris. All right, Chris. Thank you so much. Thanks, we appreciate Polly, it. Chris. Polly, Chris. You're, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Well, there it is. <laughs> I don't know. It's 7 to 2. It is. Did this? Uh, did this? Did you intend for this to be a? Uh... No, this was unprompted. No, this is un- <laughs> Daryl and I are very bi- even though Daryl and I have goldenrod shirts on, we would wear a Creamland shirt if, if we could get one. If we had one. Oh, I so see. we're very, we're very, uh, we're very. Oh, well, I have to let the boss know that then. Right. Now maybe that will prompt her to order them faster. Well, I don't know. I well, asked her yesterday. First day of summer is Friday. You got to know right up front that we're not paying for any T-shirts because these, well, bad, boys these uh, bad boys are free. These bad boys are free. I'll have to charge. ask her if you can get some Calmade T-shirts in Europe. You, you would really wear them on the air. We and, really and, would. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let her know that today. And, yeah. And, look at and, this. Look at this big golden rod. Look at it. She, can you see it? Can you see it from across the room? She's listening. Can you see that from across the room? Yes, I've already said that four times <laughs> okay. today. It's, it's got an antique car in the back of the shirt, yeah. Carol. It's oh awesome. Oh, my God. For cruise, like, because of cruise night. Yes, it is. Right. There's, no, there's nothing like a fresh shirt. Right. Which is, which is something that's unique to, to Goldenrod. There. Great to wear a T-shirt over to Goldenrod on cruise night. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, oh Carol, boy. what do you think? Yeah, I, th- I think I, I, was, I was trying to sign off early because I feel like I'm kind of boring today i don't i don't want to bore i don't think you, you i don't think anyone time. thinks you're boring no. miriam oh, banner thanks. says you're not boring <laughs> oh thanks miriam but she's a home she's one of my homies from from oh, you boy. know from l town so oh that's right that's right yeah she's the, she's the entire hometown crowd on the morning show <laughs> yes yes she represents you oh, she boy. represents me right <laughs> my, my 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 fan base my huge fan base all right. Well, listen. We will. Uh, we oh. will check in. Oh, what do you got, Ease? I'm part of your fan base too. Oh, thanks, Eric. Oh, yeah, that's well, nice. So, you know, keep checking the site. I'm hey, gonna, Carol, I, that's I a big endorsement it. from Easy G. <laughs> yeah. That really is. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. I appreciate that. I really do. That's really good, Eric. I, I try. I, I don't say that to make good radio. I just say that because I mean it. Right. Because you're an expert in good radio, right? Uh, I don't know about an expert, but I try. Right. Okay. I try. <laughs> All right. All right, Carol. Well, listen, we will talk to you tomorrow at the same time. All right. I'll, I'm going to try to be more, have more to talk about tomorrow. You're fine. I'm Go just... back to the, the dispensary and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, it was, you know, I was, I was happy to, I was happy to check it out because I feel oh, like sure the kind of thing that, um, you know, I mean, I imagine eventually we'll have them here. Oh, yes, I, I'm guessing. Yes. Right? right. Well, I don't know about and that. So, yeah. Very really. Everyone's on it. Know. What are you people on dope? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it seems it seems like it's it's uh, just eventually it's it's got to happen. I don't know. I, I would that. say. Oh yeah. Know. Oh, I'd have to agree. Oh, uh, almost a hundred percent. It's know. inevitable. All right. Well, I don't think it will happen under this governor. Well, okay, but it's going to happen. There's, there's no stopping opinion. it. Well, no one wants to hear your opinion. We're well, saying well, goodbye, to Carol. We're saying goodbye to Carol. We're saying goodbye to Carol. We're saying goodbye to Carol. All right. Oh boy. All right, Carol. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, I have to thanks. deal with Easy G here. <laughs> Bye, Carol. I know. I'm going to deal with this Peter White. Car. Right. Okay. Thank <laughs> you, Carol. He's a handful. <laughs> All right. That's Carol Robodeau, Manchester Inc. Link, where everything in Manchester connects. You can find out what's going on around town at ManchesterInclink.com. The morning show is sponsored by CGI Business Solutions, located at 171 Londonderry Turnpike in Hooksett. They serve all your big and small business needs, employee benefits planning, corporate design and business administration, investments and wealth management, customized business insurance solutions. Their phone number is 866-841-4600. On the web at cgibusinesssolutions.com. Hey, bud, what's your problem? Uh, hi from the Peter White Morning Show and all the all-stars to help out there. Lenny, Scumpy, Abigail White, Laura the Animal Lady, Nick, Mr. Positive, Mike Marno, Mike Doyle, Brooklyn Mike, The Moose, 
Glenn Ouellette, the People's Mayor, Joe Lard, Daryl Dion, Peter Fleming, Christy Kanner, Ryan Gorman, Don T. Tibbetts, Yahoo, Gary T. Tibbetts, Polly C., The Place to Be, Karen Robito, Manchester Swinkling, John Manning, Ben Dion, Kyle Heavey, Matt Connerton, and Rob Abazita. We all have a lot of fun there. It's all fun. I hope you're listening. Every day I send my You're listening to Peter White. Call us at 250-6007. It's the morning show. WMNH 95.3 FM. Good morning, Manchester. All right, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's the morning show at 95.3 WMNH. And a lot going on this morning. We have a friendly rivalry battle going between Goldenrod and Creamland. We've done a poll online before, but this is a live poll. You can give us a call, 250-6007. I know it's a tough call, but you got to pick one. The pressure is on Creamland right now. We have a score of 7-2. to two. Daryl Dion, what do you think? I think this is awesome. This unsolicited response to our... You know, right. query about I agree. Goldenrod or Creamland. I know when Chrissy comes in, it'll be on my side because she likes the ice cream at Creamland. She likes the oh, ice cream and oh. Creamland. What about the other products there at the Goldenrod? Right. I think she'll vote for me. You think so? You think so? You're very sure of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> right, I'm, 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 he seems pretty confident. Yeah, you're very confident this morning. She's my buddy. Oh, really? Well, she can yeah. still be your buddy and, you know, go to Creamland. Right. And go to uh, Goldenrod. Goldenrod. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'll find out when she gets here. Yes, we Well, no, she didn't. we're not going to ask her now. <laughs> we're not going to ask her. She's, no. Yeah, right, you can't do that. Yeah, I can do that. It's my show. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. I might give, you know what, just for that, I might give Goldenrod another point. All right. Okay, I won't. I'm not going right. to be like that today. All right. But I could do anything. All right. Remember that. Yeah, you sued those people away that were here earlier. Well, they were here last week. Yeah. And funny. they thought they were on TV. Yeah, that was funny. A little bit. I like his tie, though. Like, uh, right. They're celebrating. That was Mike Lopez. They are cel- I'll give him a shout-out. They are celebrating uh, 100 years of the American Legion. Yeah, great tie. Uh, they were here last before. Tuesday. Yeah, it was a good interview. I heard it on the report. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yep. Very good. All right. We're waiting on Chrissy and Jen. They're going to talk about my experience up at uh, <laughs> Chill Spa. Where, Unbelievable. Yes. Here's another thing. You can go up to Chill Spa in the morning, have some great spa treatment. Where are you going to go to lunch, Daryl? I don't know. Golden Rod. Right. right, it's right down there. the street. It's right there. Real quick and easy. Go right right to the window. Order yourself a clam roll. Mmm, yummy. Good morning. You're on the air. Hi. My vote goes to Golden Rod. Okay. We appreciate All right. We appreciate they have that. hard ice cream. Okay. Huh? Oh, all right. I think that now. Do you have hard ice cream over at Creamland? Yes, hard and soft. Hard and soft. And it's, we make it fresh there. Uh. <laughs> 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 all right. Does, now, does Goldenrod have uh, something I don't know? Do they have soft serve? Uh, I I don't think Goldenrod. So. They don't have. They don't have Goldenrod. The vote is for Goldenrod. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. you made anonymous. Right. That was Lulu, by the way. Lulu? Yes. Who's that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, I won't worry about it. Then. Yeah. I don't know who it is. It says Lulu on here. All right. Why do you question everything I do? <laughs> I Why don't. are you questioning it? I don't. I think you're just getting, it's getting under your skin that Goldenrod has taken over uh, th- the score here. It doesn't matter. That's just a fun survey. There's it's not even a fun, it's not turning, <laughs> it's not a fun survey anymore. It's just Okay, they, this is a serious it's, survey. There's <laughs> plenty of money for everybody. <laughs> right. People have jobs at both places, so it's a good place. Right. You could spend your whole paycheck and get a seafood platter. Which I won't be doing. Why not? <laughs> what do you typically get over at uh, Creamland? Well, the next time I have a couple dollars in my pocket, I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to get a, try a hamburger there. Try a hamburger. Yeah, Something he, a, yeah. I had one of the, uh, the um, T-bones the other well, day. Well, let's. Uh, it was very delicious. Let's, uh, let's take this call. Good morning. You're on the air. Hi. Hi, it's Heidi from the lovely west side where the sun is shining. (laughs) Oh, boy. 
our whole family just loves Goldenrod. Oh, oh boy. Oh, you let me down. <laughs> oh, boy. Unsolicited. Right, so that can, brings... Can, can we get three votes for Goldenrod? Sure, I can. Yes, yes you, you can. can. Well, the dog voting, too? One okay. for Gary, one for Gary, <laughs> one for Jeff, one for Heidi. That brings Goldenrod to ten. Ten. Oh. Yay! All right, thank oh. you, Heidi. Thank, thank you, you so Heidi. much. Thanks Bye. a lot, Heidi. All right. <laughs> oh, this boy. is unsolicited. I need, I need to go to the... You know what? If I give Goldenrod any more points, I'm going to have to go to the next page in my notebook. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed it. I wouldn't have guessed that they'd be so far ahead. Right, right. Someone's going to call. Greenland is popular. Come on, all you Creamland people. Give us a call. Right. Tell us what you like. They've been sleeping right now, the Creamland fans. Right. Why would they be sleeping? I don't know. Like a school why would the Creamland, why would Goldenrod fans be up in the morning and Creamland fans not be? Maybe they're, uh, they're just. Very that's hard. a. Re- I don't know. Who yeah. knows? That's I don't so know. Ridiculous. There's a big conversation here. I don't know. I know, but that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, well... Don't you agree? This whole, the whole show is ridiculous. What do you mean it's ridiculous? <laughs> How is it ridiculous? You're on now the show. No, yeah, you're on the show. You're getting upset with us because your restaurant isn't winning. That's just a fun survey. It doesn't really matter. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> All right. It's coming dear. between us. All right. Dear. It's extremely competitive. It really is. <laughs> you need Botox. Or you need, or you need to go to a dispensary. I don't need... I don't Ooh, need... The, I don't need... Let's the, give, yeah. it, give it up on the dispensary. Right. You don't you don't think uh he, he needs to go? No. No, most definitely. You could probably that would probably be the best thing for you. No, I'm all set with that, thank you. Really? I got no problem. No, it wouldn't be a problem though. It would solve your problems. I don't know about that. Yeah. You'd oh. sound like this again. Oh hello, guys. Oh boy. You know, that's the old Eric. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you think it leads to other drugs? Uh, somebody's calling me. Uh oh, who's calling you? I don't know. I got stuck. I really? Phone on vibrate like you tell me to do. Right. So you're getting a call during the show. What's happening? I don't know. I got stuck. See what it is. Maybe it's our T-shirts coming from Creamland. Oh, it's my friend Emery. Why? Well, fan of uh, Goldenrod? No, he's the guy. I just figured he was up early, so that's why no, I he, figured he, he was. He always up. is up early. The guy that runs the morning prayer. Oh really? He's saying, "Where are you?" He says well, he's, yeah, I told him I wasn't going to be there today. Did he say he was praying for Creamland? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I was thinking if he was here, he'd vote, why yeah, vote why for don't Creamland because he's a good pal of mine. Well, well, really, I know, but it has nothing to do with being your pal. It has it's, everything it's, to do with the quality of their end. Yeah, what you like. Yes. I'll check with that message later because I'm on the air right now. Right, <laughs> okay, okay. No one, got, no one ever is not that important. Okay, uh, I'm going uh, to give you a Creamland another point here. Um, just to give him a shot, and thank you can thank your friend Ed Murphy. Oh wow, thank you, Ed. He All says, right. uh, he says, says well, yeah, he says onion rings from Creamland are amazing. Oh, thank you, Ed. Right. Goldenrod's yeah, batter is bland, according to Ed. Well, well you, you know go. what? See, that's not far from the truth. Okay, a new best I'm not a big of fan of the batter at Goldenrod either. Okay, well there you have it. Is that another point for Goldenrod? Uh, well, if we're doing onion rings. <laughs> well, we, you know what? You know, Goldenrod is 10. Uh, so a, let's a new best friend of mine, because he held, held me move like a month ago. So. Right. Oh, I, I, I didn't Excellent. really know the guy from a hole in the wall. And he said, oh, I'll help you. Well, what do you think? who do you think is better, a hole in the wall or Ed Murphy? Ed Murphy. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you didn't know him from a, a hole in the wall. This is a statement that people say. Right. <laughs> yeah. You Michael, know Albert, Michael Albert says they board up Creamland in the winter like they're expecting the blizzard of 76. <laughs> Well, That's exactly what it looks like. They do it for like. security reasons, though. Oh, I'm right. sure. I'm sure. Don't let anybody mess with the place. Happy birthday to the king of all farts. Belated birthday, correct? Yeah, that was nice. Who yeah. said that? Miriam Banish. Wow, thank you, Miriam. What yeah. was the number? 76? Seven. 77. Ooh. Wow. 77 Sunset Strip. Yeah, Debbie Lorendo also. I'll give Creamland another one. Debbie Lorendo uh, uh, also says Creamland. Oh, there you go. All they, right, moving up. I guess they woke up, the Creamland fans. Right, right I guess so. Maybe they felt we bad. Have Eric, do that um, report before Chrissy shows up. Well, I don't know. Huh? I'm not in charge here. That's, 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 well, I'm just, uh, that's right, Daryl. Just some consideration. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was trying to. Okay, you want to do that? But they might, when they come in, though, Eric, we have to. Uh, Put the kibosh on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll you know, have, well, it'll have to come in be, two be, parts. Maybe they couldn't make it, so. Oh, really? Things that thing, uh, right. Know. Maybe there's a hole in the roof, right? Well, you know what maybe there's a hole in the roof. That's happened. See? See? <laughs> you were saying you were wishing bad things. No, maybe they won't come in. 
Maybe know, there's a hole in the roof. Maybe the, the, Very, uh, very negative. No, not being negative. But That's the, very negative. In Forrest Gump, they say uh, S happens, though. All right, Creamland gets another <laughs> one. Creamland gets another one from uh, Pandora Moore, and it is now... Oh, well, thank you, Pandora. That is, uh, ten, it is 10 to 5. Creamland has just made a uh, kind of a kind of a major co- coming back in the second yeah. half, which is which is pretty amazing. You can vote two five zero six double zero seven, and it's uh, Goldenrod or Creamland. I hate to put the pressure on you, Manch. I know you like both places. We do too. Make a choice. But uh, thank you. Oh, and I also want to thank Goldenrod for the complimentary T-shirts. Thank you, Goldenrod. Absolutely, Rich at Goldenrod. All right, Rich. Thank you. Very nice. Complimentary T-shirts. Oh well, I guess that plan's backfired. Well, I guess yeah. Thank you, Daryl. Oh, hey, you're welcome. W- what's the matter? Go ahead and sit down. All right, here we go. So, Ease, what are you doing? Well, D- Daryl thought I'd do the entertainment report, but now the ladies are here, so. Well, we're still going to do your entertainment report. Now? No, we can. Well, we can do it in a second. Okay, we'll do it in a second then. All right. Well, do you want to do it now or later? I'll do it now. You want to do it now? Yeah, because then. Uh, How long does it take, though? Well, uh, well, take as long as time as you want to give me. You're well, in charge. Well, I understand that, but I'm sure these ladies actually uh, are on a time schedule. All right, let's we'll do them now, and then I'll do it after. Okay, you sure about that? You guys yeah, we'll ready? Do, we'll do the report at 8.30. All right. That sounds okay with you, boss. Uh, okay, you don't have to call me boss, though. That's for sure. All right, buddy, then. How's that? Well, don't, you, don't, you don't have to call me buddy, either. <laughs> All right, enemy, I'm then. Pal. You, I'm my enemy. You don't call, I'm not your enemy. <laughs> All right, well, we'll pal, then. <laughs> call me Goldenrod Pete. Golden Rod Pete. From now on. <laughs> All right, Golden Rod Pete. All right, that's how you address me. <laughs> All right, uh, Golden Rod Pete. That's the only way you can address him. <laughs> All right. You're All walking right. into a nightmare tonight. These, these two guys are out of control. Right. How do you like How do you like our new T-shirts, Chrissy? The uh, Golden Rod T-shirts. I love them. They're fabulous. All right. That's good. Now Golden Rod's right up by you. I know. I was just there the other day. Um, oh, I oh. think uh, oh, twice. Where, this were you? where were you the past other day? Two weeks. I was at Golden Rod. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that that is. Is. you told me you went to Creamland the other day. You liked the ice Listen, cream. Listen, I have an ice cream addiction. I love them both. <laughs> oh, I love Creamland, I'll and buy, I do I'll buy your love. Friend there. Golden Rod. Put you on the spot. You know, listen, I was listening in while I was driving in today, and I knew you were going to ask me this question. <laughs> a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. To be quite honest, I don't eat a ton of ice cream. Right. That's okay. And we're not even judging the ice cream. We're just judging Overall. the Overall. whole... And I can't even... <laughs> we're just judging the whole thing. I can't even say... I can't even remember the last time I even went to either of those places. Right, right. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Well, enough. Where would you rather be... Well, let's say, where would you rather be at 11 o'clock, uh, 11 p.m. at night? Over by Goldenrod or on Valley <laughs> Street? Over by Creamland? Okay, Goldenrod wins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unsolicited. Then right. I open at 11 o'clock at night. What? You said 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm not ta- yeah I know. I did. Why are you questioning me? I'm just saying, where would you would you want to be outside, out by Creamland, uh, or out at uh, Goldenrod at 11 p.m.? All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right well, Jen, Eric, Eric, and Chrissy, don't get frustrated. We're, we're Chrissy, why don't you here. introduce Jen because her name's hard to say. Oh, Jen Fleming. <laughs> okay. You, oh, so you don't do the middle part. You just do the Fleming. Uh, well, what middle, what's the middle part? part? Well, yeah, I don't know. I oh, Moduleski. Yeah, on your Facebook. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's right. my maiden name. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's why I decided to, after three years of being married, I figured it might be wise to change that. Yeah, sure. You why know, not? it's just easier. Yeah, of course. Of it, course. Well, congratulations on your new marriage. Uh, eight years in, but. It, yeah. Oh, well, I've never met you. So. <laughs> well, I know, but so it's not a new marriage, though. Well, it, it could be. It's kind of new. It's always new. Right. right. You're always working that's on that. That's a good stuff. attitude. It's, it's new to me, so. <laughs> Right. right. Yeah, his marriage didn't make it eight years. <laughs> no, it no, didn't. It's made it three my seconds. My sister's been married by ten years, though. <laughs> right, Who right. My sister. But, I mean, you know, you, you, your whole thing's a mess. We yeah. won't get into that. Well, your marriage didn't last either. I know, but I never... Hey, mine oh. didn't either. Okay, guys, oh, well, let's, let's take it easy on. here. All right, let's all right. Who is going to throw me under the bus? I'll throw him under the bus. All right, who had the restraining order, Ease? Hey, I'm driving hey. the bus. I'm driving the bus. Oh, Watch boy, out. we're we're heading in a bad direction <laughs> right. here. Okay, yeah. well, no, you guys are here. So funny. You guys are actually here. I, Thanks for breaking that up, by the way. By, no problem. <laughs> I, I might need a restraining order. But, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I got to ask Jen, is she enjoying that, uh, that uh, drink? This is really interesting. Um, no, is this, is this your first? Is, is this your first is one? my first experience okay. with this. Oh my god! Um, yeah. it's not. It's tolerable, is and it? for the health benefits, I would continue to drink it. Sure, sure. But it is. That's the celery juice, right? It is pure celery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mashed. 
Yeah, Chrissy's it, been it on. Is. Chrissy's been on eight it for weeks. like eight, eight weeks. Eight weeks. Friday. <laughs> wow. wow. Jeez. Now, do you have to continue doing it to to reap the benefits of of it, um, or can you stop and? Well, it's kind of like this. Um, you should exercise all the time, right? Yes. So I'm just going to continue to do this cool. um, because it makes me feel great, and I know the benefits are amazing. Cool. So. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right. Well, very good. Chilling with my celery juice. <laughs> I was chilling last Friday. I went up there. Yeah. I told you what happened on Monday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do I look any different? Uh, <laughs> extra handsome. Wow. Very good. Wow. See? You see that? Chrissy. Wow. That is the right answer. That's another one for Goldenrod. <laughs> Goldenrod Pete. <laughs> Goldenrod Pete. What's my I, new name? I, I don't think you have to look handsome in order to get. The, I don't think you need mm. Botox to look extra handsome. No, you're no, right. No. You're that's right. Just, that's just my opinion. I would never do Botox. Nothing personal against the business, but that, that would nothing be for me. Right, but you don't know what it is. See, oh, I, see, I, what happened was I went up there and I was asked to go up there, and I actually got to learn a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. All, all kidding aside, you know, I had it done and explained everything to me, and it was uh, it was it was very interesting. And well, now I see the commercial on TV all the time. I'm really? like, hey, that's that's me. <laughs> it's it's not something that everybody's aware of or understands. Even more important. Correct, and you that's know? why I wanted to bring Jen along so she could share it to take the scare out of. The whole new tox, Botox um, products. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a big kind. I think a lot of people are interested in it or have thought about wanting to do it, but people just get really scared because exactly. they don't know, like, oh boy, am I going to look I've never thought about frozen? It, am I going to look a little strange? And I honestly think that a lot more people probably are doing it or have done it. It's just that maybe they're not being quite open about it i think generationally think i think younger you think it's a well i think younger generations right. they're much more open about i think you're right. doing cosmetic procedures yeah. or about kind of altering or changing or enhancing some features but i think certain generations yeah are absolutely not they don't want to share that they they may do it but they don't necessarily want to share it and that's okay right right that's right. okay but okay. i think if you're a man mm -hmm. or, or or a woman and you decide to to check this out i mean do your do your research yeah, first absolutely. before you before you just go out and do it you're not gonna you know some people i think might think oh yeah i'm gonna get that done and look 10 years younger or whatever or just you know like yeah, it's all about realistic expectations exactly right for right. sure and you know, I think that there's no. I got carded the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. at Temple Market. <laughs> yes, Temple Market. At Temple Market. Well, yes. listen. First of all, I think it's most important. How are you feeling? Feel good. I really do, do feel good. Do you feel that there's any change or not so much yet? You no. Know, you know what? I'm feeling it as the days go on. Yesterday yes. was like, I'm like, oh, because okay. I can even see. I can almost feel a it. change even from here. Right, and and so it takes about two weeks. You said right? Yeah, like I would say by. Ten, what was that? What kind of change? So the lines, so, so first of all, I don't see that movement, that, that really strong movement in your forehead. And the right. lines have softened. Now, they're not going to, as we spoke about, they're not going to go away entirely, entirely, right. because over time, if... But I don't want them really to go away. Yeah, either. no. <laughs> they tell a story. Part of you. They right. tell a story, yeah. Jack. Yeah. Hell of a story. <laughs> are, are there really? any dangers involved in that Botox? So um, there people. are certain people, yeah, there are certain people that they should not, if you have any sort of neuromuscular disorder. Oh, forget it. Um, He's out. Yeah, you should not be. There are certain people, if you're getting treated for certain things, um, if you have certain um, underlying uh, health issues, then maybe people are not appropriate candidates for Botox. But for the most part, it's such a small quantity that you're getting that it's really, I, I mean, this has been around for years and years and years and thousands, hundreds of thousands right. of people are doing this, that overall it's very safe to do. Oh, yeah. I know people that have done it. I mean, it, it's, it's uh, for me, though, like I didn't know much about it and, and I just associated with that women did it, too. I also. think everybody oh, yeah. does. Is there a questionnaire specific to uh, before you do the procedure that you ask the Why don't you, oh, ask, oh, why yeah. don't you ask me, Darren? Right. Oh, that's ask right. Did they ask you any questions, oh, Peter? Yeah. Oh, they did. I got a big folder. <laughs> <laughs> Jen here hands me a big folder. Here, fill this out. It will only take 20 minutes. Right. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. a pen with a flower on it, and I'm writing all my <laughs> stuff on it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, and it just asked your your basic, just like when you go into a doctor or whatever. Okay. If you go into a doctor's office, ah, you know, allergies, and, and they just get your, and then, yeah. 
And you probably sign a waiver in case your head blows up like a balloon, too. Exactly. But, I mean, you know, that doesn't doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But no, it's no, but it is uh, it is interesting, and it does have health benefits. It's not just a cosmetic thing. Right. It's it's there there are health benefits to it. If you oh. if you suffer from like severe migraines, they, this is like one of the top treatments. Mm -hmm. Am I right? See, oh, I've yeah. done my, no, I've done my research, Jen. You have. I'm very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Yes, so Botox um, is you, can be used for migraines. It can be used for TMJ or jaw clenching. It can be used for people that have things from bladder incontinence to stomach issues to there's a whole range and gamut of how, um, you know, Botox specifically is used. Mm. But, you know, there's different brands of Botox is like Kleenex, you know, like it was the first one around. So we just refer to a neurotoxin as Botox, but there are different brands on the market as well. But Botox specifically is used for a lot of, not only cosmetic, but a lot of medical. Yeah, yeah. Things. Is it an expensive procedure? Yeah. You, um, you know, it is it is what it is in the marketplace. So you're going to pay, I think, on average between 10 to 14 10 to $15 a unit. So... It's based off of how many units. Don't ask how many units I had. <laughs> yeah, don't don't okay. ask. Uh, but, we but need men, to know. But, <laughs> men, <laughs> but men ask. need and Probably. require more, for the most part, require more Botox than women. Really? Yes. Okay. That's good to know. I yes. would never know that. Because you have stronger, your, your, your muscles in general are just a bit stronger, especially okay. in your face. Makes so sense. you're going to require, um, just you're just going to require more product. I think I'm going to need about 85 units. <laughs> right. <laughs> For what? Your cheek? Your cheek? No, the overall face. Right. You look like Kenny Rogers. Stop That's it. all I said. I didn't want to look like Kenny Rogers. Oh, boy. Yeah, he looks like hell. Right. He does. <clears throat> kind of scary. But right. don't you just feel more refreshed? I do. I really do. A little more re like it is. It, you, I, I, can, I can feel it, you know. Like, and even like sitting at a computer, you're, you know, we're all used to kind of sitting there scowling and squinting. And then when you just feel like... You can't really do that. It just makes you feel. A little I think more that's happy. when I get a lot. Of, I do a lot of squinting, and you, you had mentioned yes. like mm -hmm. you should wear sunglasses more often. Well, you keep telling everybody you need to get new glasses. Well, that's right, <laughs> Eric. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks not, for being there for me, buddy. Eye vision right down there. He's uh, there for you every step. Hold the rod, Peter. What's that? It's an eye vision right down the street. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, they call it, yeah, Golden Rod Pete. That's right. Thank you. Just trying to help you out. Okay. So you wouldn't do this, Ease. No Not way. even if your doc doctor yeah. recommended it? No way. I've always, no way. Why? I've never, I've I don't never, think he's a good candidate. Yeah. Right. I'd never be interested in that kind of stuff. Well, I know, but if the doctor says the only doesn't thing it, that's going to solve, you, solve your problem is this. Doesn't it require shots? It does require numerous shots. I yes. hate it's shots. It's tiny, small, tiny, tiny. Injection. Oh, yeah. You know what? And I'm going to tell you, if that's what you're worried about, <clears throat> don't worry. You painless, know what I mean? I'm going to. Yeah. And, and 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 up at Chrissy and at Chill Spa, it you know you go up, they take you, you know it's a it's a private private thing. You don't right. have to do it, and it takes about ten or fifteen minutes, and it, and you feel very relaxed. How was I during that whole thing? You were very chill. I, I have you on camera. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, they documented it. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes. I'm, I'm allergic to a lot of things, so I don't think that would be a good idea. Right. Well, yes. Problems. That's right. As yeah. you can see, my feet are all wrapped up. So. I can see that. Right. He's a mess. You don't even want to ask. <laughs> take it easy I on the guy. Come I on. I wouldn't dare do that. <laughs> All right. Let's take this call. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, good morning. Hey, good I'm morning. I'm calling because I'm a very good friend of Jen. <gasps> and oh. I'm a customer, and I work with her lovely new husband. Oh. <laughs> of eight years. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Your voice sounds... You know... <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> we like are you all Mary. listening over there? <laughs> are you guys How all are listening? You? Excuse me? Are you guys all listening to the radio over of there? Of course we're all listening. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, well, good morning, everyone. Will, yeah, will, good morning, everyone. Both of my kids work at Goldenrod. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a Goldenrod? <laughs> um, yeah. How many kids work there? <laughs> um, yeah, I had two children that worked at Goldenrod. That's two points. Well, central <laughs> graduates. Okay, okay. Hooray that's a good, for Goldenrod. That's a good landing spot. We're going to give one to Goldenrod, but I have to give one to, uh, I have to give three votes to uh, Creamland from the Philbrook uh, family. Oh, wow. We're Thank being you, fair, boys. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. All right. 
Good and, job. And here's the score so far. It is 12 to 11. Goldenrod is still wow. winning. Ooh. Wow. This wow. This is close. You're right. <laughs> right. We, well, we I told you the Green Blade fans were waking up. No, I'm just, I'm, I just really want to give a really good plug to Jen. She's awesome. She's a great girl, great business person, and best of luck. Oh, you're oh, the best, very Mary. Nice. Wow. Thanks so much, Mary. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Thanks, Mary. Have a great day. Thanks, Mary. Now, where Thanks, Mary. are they listening from? Oh, am I allowed to say that on air? Well, you I go don't ahead. See why not? <laughs> no. Uh, or just say the office. Manchester. Right. They're in Manchester. Oh. <laughs> The Manchester Police Department. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. You, you know, Drew, he always gets a little. We you love know, the Manchester like Police. To... Yes, yeah, that's we, all right. We've had former police chief Nick Willard here many times. Right. Oh, yes. I did see pictures of him. Yes, he's, he's big the, time. The beardless Nick Willard. Now? Oh, did he's you see big him without time. his beard. Right. Oh no, I haven't. Yeah, he cut, he cut it off before they went to Mexico. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll be seeing him Saturday when you go to the Relay for Life Fishing Guy game. Right. Oh. Does Nick come in for Botox? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not allowed. I, yes, I'm that. not allowed to say anything. No, you can't. You but can't no, say right. but no, right. you can't. Say yeah, that. sure you can't. You're, you're right. You're right. He's more of a makeup guy. Right. 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 A little rude. Yes, little he likes stuff, his makeup. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you're right. Oh boy. So, so in all seriousness, this is a. Uh, I, I had a. I had a great experience. I'm glad. I really, I'm really glad did. that we kind of took the scare out of it, and I hope that... Yeah, um, and it's okay for dudes to go up and uh, check this out. You I know think what I mean? It's important to, to take away that fear oh, that yeah. people and, have. And honestly, if people are interested, it's always important, I think, A, number one, do your research. Find someone that is a good injector, because that's important. Mm -hmm. And you come great. in for a consultation, though, and just kind of learn. And, you know, no one should ever feel pressured to have to do something like that. It's right, just, if something right. is bothering you then maybe kind of seek your options and it's not for everybody and that's perfectly okay right how uh, I, I, it's interesting to to uh, talk about the effects that it has on migraines many many people suffer from migraines yeah and um, I'm sure that they would be fearful to even uh, consider Botox but those are the people that should get in touch because many 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 times uh, you know, taking your pills or whatever that that they take for migraines doesn't work. Right. Or if it does, it takes hours. And these people are in pain, serious pain. Yeah, and, uh, you know, people, ne neurologist office will do it. <clears throat> and um, certainly there are some modified, you know, if you, because it, it takes a lot of product. But for people that have migraines that have been completely uncontrolled, even on medication, they should actually contact their insurance companies because, their insurance companies actually may cover really? them getting the injection. So that's always something that they should wow. kind of look into. Yeah, Absolutely. Especially if it's that serious. Oh, and, yeah, absolutely. You know, and if they have a documented condition. Yeah, absolutely. Their doctor would sign off on it all day long. They sure we, would. We would think so. I used, yeah. sure would. I used to get a lot of trouble with headaches, but thankfully for a long time. I since, he's been wearing that, that issue. since he's been wearing that headband, he hasn't had a headache. No more headaches. <laughs> well, does it, what does that say, Dartmouth Hitchcock? Yeah, I finally get, well, sorry, the king of all farts gave me that on Sunday. <laughs> so I thought I'd wear it. It's a new, new look because some of the ladies at uh, Creamland wear it, and I, I, I got a joke with them today. So I want to be just like you, and they'll probably say, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear that. You can Perhaps. wear that. You can wear that instead of a hat because it takes your, your, you don't want the, your, the, um, your hair going to the food. That's yeah, right. We do not want that. Yeah. No. Definitely right. not. Why? Does that happen over at Creamland? No. Because it certainly no, doesn't happen. No, no, I'm no, sure it doesn't. Know, if, if, some if of the ladies happens, there don't want to wear a hat <laughs> because you know how ladies are with their hair. Yeah, yes. I get it. There was a lady yesterday at Creamland. She goes, does my hair look dumb? And I, I just kept that up to myself. <laughs> oh, my God. Very You're good. smart. <laughs> right. Because you never, you never, like Peter was saying earlier, uh, Goldenrod, Peter, you're never going to come up with a good answer. So I, I just said. Uh, Right, absolutely. Yeah, zip it up now. Thank you. So, okay. So, what's now? What now? When you get it done, do you, you don't have to take care of it. You don't have to do anything. No, there's really. no maintenance other than the first, you know, day or so. You just don't want to, you know, scrub your face or rub the areas in which we're yeah, injected. Yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah, I didn't do it. God forbid, they told me not to wear my hat. Yeah, we don't really? want it going. Christy to actually fixed. Christy actually fixed my hair because then? I had my hat on. Because I was probably walking around like she's like, "Oh, I got to do something with that." <laughs> got to fix your hair, right? Peter. Yeah, you're yes. a mess. Come on, get let's get it here. fixed. No up. kidding. But I haven't even worn a hat since because now I want to just show it off. Yeah, and honestly, you know, it stayed to last about three months. So it's wow. you know, in and around that time, sometimes it lasts a little bit longer for some people, maybe a little bit less for others. But yep. on average. 
three months. Yeah, no, I, 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 so, I can feel it. Just so you know, <laughs> there is a, there is a, you know, maybe it's a little stronger, like tightness. Tight, yeah, you're but, gonna feel. Yeah. yeah, so it's working then. It is working. Wow. See that, Daryl? What's next? Like, yeah, I so see it. <laughs> so many procedures there. What's next for Golden Rod Peter? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Straight <laughs> hand, pedicure. Uh, no. Well, it has that. Maybe a facial. Oh, see. Oh boy, those are great too. Yeah. They they like they like make your face light up. I thought you already had one of those. Well, we had the ones here. We had a uh, right. Yeah, we had the chair facial. Yeah, we had the chair it's facial. Like a- Fifteen oh, minute little. What, why? What is the other? What is what is the other oh, one it's called? An the hour full long pop. of pure oh. relaxation. Oh boy, it's amazing. Oh boy, right. Oh yeah. Yeah, jeez. Scalp massage, oh. shoulder, neck massage. All right, <clears throat> that's next. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it sounds good. So what do you guys got going on today? You got to get out of here, or I, um, no? no tell I me, actually, what's, that, what's that, Chrissy? Yeah, what did so you bring in here? I brought little. I was thinking about you, Peter. When you know, I've been doing the whole Marie Kondo thing yes. and simplifying, oh, and boy. I came oh, across I love that lady. this. Um, what do you call? It? It's like a, a bowl, record? A, a record bowl. It's a bowl made out of a uh, Elton a, John oh. yes. breaking hearts. And okay. I was like, you know what? I don't need this, and I want to give it to someone who I think would love it, and you being on the radio well, and records nice. and everything. Right. So we can put any of your um, keys or anything you want All in here. All your stuff over there. The, we can put the bathroom yeah. key in there. formerly a the vinyl record. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it's so a vinyl it's repurposed. It, so yeah. repurposed album into a bowl, and it just happens to be Elton John. And you know there's that movie, the Elton John Rocket Man going on. Right. Oh, yeah. And what if I wanted to play that on a on a on a turntable? Um, I think <laughs> it would be a work. little crazy. It may not work. <laughs> this and, record's warped. Yeah. And it kind of spins into our um, Palace Theater for NHPCC's um, big tribute series for Elton John. I want to go to that this year. It is unbelievable. And what is this? so it is Elton John oh. at the Palace Theater. Um, he's a gentleman from Las Vegas. He um, gets everyone out of their seats. It's unbelievable. It's October 17th, 7.30 p.m., and you can get tickets right online at palacetheater.org. And he is, he takes down the house. He looks like Elton John. He does. He, does. he kind of does. go down yeah. to the theater yeah. and get him, too, I bet. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. And <clears throat> so they're on sale right now, and it is a must-see show. Um, and benefits New Hampshire Prostate Cancer Coalition. And it's a one-time only show. It's so a one-time gotta... only show. Yeah. How long has he been doing this for? Um, he's in Vegas, and he travels oh. the world doing this. Um, yeah, Dick Hatton, who is the president of NHPC, is yep. amazing. I know that And guy. he put um, this show together. And this guy, he cares so much. He doesn't. Um, he doesn't charge for his flights. He pays his own way to get to Manchester. Wow. So it's really like nice. all the proceeds go to. Uh, raising awareness for prostate cancer and you know that's that i guess the big connection here is uh, it's my connection with you peter with getting yeah. on the radio is coming to spread the awareness for prostate cancer sure yeah and then another thing is jen and i connected because of my dad um she was my dad's neighbor uh, oh, ever okay. since she was a little girl um the moduleski twins and oh. her sister's a knee uh, uh, a nurse as well and and Jen's so you've known each other for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, for quite a while. And she wow. took care of my dad, and so we have this like special connection. And um, you know, yesterday I was it's just like it's such an emotional um, week for me with Father's Day, and sure. you know, I'm appreciating um, her taking care of my dad, and mm. you know, it's just a special family. So um, very good. Well, yeah, he was so, a super special guy. Oh, I know he was. He what, really was. What did you do for her dad? Yeah. What did uh, so um, my sister and I. They lived across the street from us, so when he, um, when it was kind of in his last stages, yeah, we just helped take care of him and just make sure that he was comfortable. Yeah, good though. That's nice. great. Thank you for that. That's that. That's something. That's a that's a good friend you got there. Yeah, amazing. So I just wanted to share all the great things that Jenna is doing and making people look and feel amazing. All mm-hmm. right. Well, you guys are fantastic. And Jen, thank you for the procedure. You're very welcome. It was fantastic. You got to check back in. You want to check this out again in yes. a couple of weeks? You're, I'm going to have you send me some pictures. We'll, we'll do uh, some before and after pictures. Okay, we can do that. Just let me know. Okay, Chrissy, let me know. It. Yeah, definitely. And uh, what do you got going on? You got to get out of here? I'm going to be heading up to chill and get okay. in. All right. some work gotta, done. Somebody's got to open the door, right? Yeah, right. totally. You're the boss. Yeah, right. that's true. Fantastic. And well, I'll, be, I'll be seeing you on Saturday. Oh. Relay for Life Fishers Guy game. Definitely. 
And then I'm coming down to your place. Yes, my, I'm going to see you feet. soon. Oh, boy. So we'll see you in place. Well, okay, ladies. Awesome. I want to thank you for joining us this morning. Awesome. Chrissy, thank you. I will see you on Friday. I'll see you Friday. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank nice you, guys. Nice to meet you, guys. Thank you so much. All Bye. Right. Bye. All right. We'll be right back. You're listening to Peter White. Call us at 250-6007. It's the morning show. Good morning. You're listening to the weekly Dion. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Ben Dion. <laughs> good Hi, ben. morning, Manchester. Good morning, Ben. How's it going? Pretty good. How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> what a surprise, right? Yeah. You kept that one under the table. Good job. Right. Well, yeah. It, it, it was easy to do. It was easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was really easy to do. I don't do. know if it would have been easy for me if I would have known. All right. I want to thank uh, Christy and Jen for stopping by. Yeah, that uh, was great. Talk about, yeah, it was fantastic. We're going to get to Easy's Entertainment Report. Ben, what brings you by? Where is Daryl? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I saw him in the hallway. And, uh, uh, okay, he had to make a call. He, he told a, me to take a seat, so. Uh, fantastic. He has the bathroom key, so he has to go to the bathroom. Oh, really? Probably, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, so school's out now. First day of summer for you. First day of summer. Fantastic. I know. I appreciate the school's out for summer song. Oh, okay, yeah. I did appreciate that. I was like, oh, this is, this is, yeah, it's here. Yes. Right, you had to do it. Yep, yep. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give everyone an update on the Goldenrod uh, versus Creamland. Uh, Creamland, uh, Goldenrod is still ahead. They, they have 13. Uh, one was added, um, let's see, uh, James Francis. Uh, thank you so much. And Jay Page, I'm sorry. Uh, he says, Goldenrod may as well be an Auburn. Creamland wins for being legit Manchester. Ooh. Well, I want to tell you, though. All right, thank you. But that's not true, though. <laughs> Goldenrod is in Manchester, legit Manchester. There's a lot of people that leave out there, live out there. All right. What do you think, Ben? All right, thank you. What do you think, Ben? You you a Creamland <sighs> guy or a Goldenrod guy? I mean, I grew up on both. I I used to go to both. I think Goldenrod is uh, they have an edge because they're open year round. Yes. Uh, Creamland closes. You know, they're seasonal. I've had students that work at both places though. Oh sure, they both they both uh, do a lot. Uh, yeah, did you hear that shout out earlier from your stu fellow student Anthony? I did not know. I asked him, I said, "Do you know this young fellow named Ben Dion?" He said, "Yeah." <laughs> he said he was a one cool cucumber. Wait, I had the cucumber part. Oh okay. <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think Ben's a cucumber? <laughs> I, I hate cucumbers. That is weird. Oh, I, I like cucumbers, though. <laughs> really? Okay. But they don't like me. When I find out it's a memorial, I have to ask that question about the, uh, the, the young Ben Dion. You went to memorial for a little bit, didn't you? I never did. No, I went to Goffstown. Oh, okay. Smooth. Oh, all right. You went to, uh, you were over there, though, for a while, weren't you? Never. You were never no. over there? No, it was Southside. Oh, uh, you were at Southside? I always hated that place. You Okay, so you were at Southside. Sorry, Southside people. But <laughs> That's not very nice. Most of yeah. them work at Creamland. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, there's some Southside folks at Creamland Golden as we Rod, speak. Goldenrod is still winning. But then against middle school. Who, who loved their middle school? Was, right. A lot of age. praise coming in for uh, young Ben Dion here this morning from oh, Jan Bopalant. Happy vacation, Mr. Dion. Thanks for oh, keeping boy. her boy in line this year. Yep. Oh, boy. I did have uh, her son in class this year, so. Very good. Had to keep him in line. All right, Ease, we're going to get to your <laughs> entertainment report uh, right after uh, this call. Good morning. You're on uh, the air. Excellent. Good morning. It's uh, Matt Connerton. How are you? Oh, hi, Matt. Oh, hi, Matt. Good. good morning, Matt. Hey, Matt. How are you? Good, good. Hey, I'm very excited. I just woke up, and I uh, I, I was uh, looking at the Facebook Live video, and I love those shirts. Yeah, can you see Goldenrod on the back of my shirt? Oh, boy. It'll be yes. It'll be coming. <laughs> oh, soon. magnificent. Because... Do, do I have one? Yeah, yeah, we got Absolutely. you one, too. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! We all, I'm gonna wear it everywhere. Yeah, we got and during the show. <laughs> we got it. We got them for everybody. Well, oh, that no, is fantastic. Well, just, just me because that Darryl. is my favorite uh, place. Well, they were uh, they, not just my favorite uh, place to eat, but really just my favorite place ever. Uh, period in the history of my life. Wow. Okay. So and here's <laughs> the strong testimony. Th these were complimentary T-shirts, by the way. Oh, good. Now, did, he, did uh, EZG bring them in? Yeah. No, no. He's been having a hard time with it all morning. 
Oh, okay. Okay, that's. I thought maybe he brought them in because he's trying to get a job there. Because he'd probably rather work there than that other place. Perhaps. Right. I don't think so. (laughs) Well, what are you what are you going to do in October when the place closes? You're going to want to go down to Goldenrod and tell them you have some experience. And if if you're lucky, they may hire you. No, I'm not going there. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Right. You can work there for the winter. Why Thursday? I'm going to the draft there to see what else is out there. Right. Well, Goldenrod will be there in case you want to get in the Goldenrod. I'm not confident (laughs) with the snow arena with their situation with the monarch closing. Right. 35 days. Well, Goldenrod it is. Goldenrod, year-round employment, man. Yeah, it's too far, though. How would I get there? Well, you could take a bus. The bus goes out there. No, the, the, the bus isn't available, so it wouldn't be a good thing. No, the bu- then Daryl lives right out there. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I can't rely on Daryl for rides every day. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> that's true. you got to plan for the future, EZG, when it comes to your career. Well, that's why Thursday I go into the job fair. So. All right. All right. They might even. All let, right. They might even let well, you. Well, anyway, I'm very October. excited about these shirts. I'll let you guys go, but uh, oh, this is like the greatest day of my life. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, you're thank a, you so much you for. A, uh... You're a sorry life. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a low blow. Sorry, oh, Matt. Easy G. Sorry, you're gonna Matt. pay for that at four o'clock. <laughs> All right, guys. Take right. care. Bye. All right, Matt Connerton. I know. I still oh, still you're still gonna out. pay sorry, for that, Matt. man. You sorry, know what? Matt. Sorry's not going to make right, that go. Right, You can check out Matt Connerton's <laughs> Unleashed in the Afternoon oh, today at oh, 4 p.m. right here on WMNH. Oh, did I really say that in the air? And here wow. we go, everyone. It's back. It's back. Yeah. It's back, baby. It's going to be a short edition tonight. That's okay. I haven't been on for three weeks. Which time I go up? Oh, boy. Well, ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, guys. <laughs> All right. Where's your big comeback now? I have tough guys. <laughs> get a life, you know, get a, get a real job. All right, here it is. Easy, you ready? I am ready. Get a life, you know, get a get a real job. Oh, it's funny that Ben <laughs> funny that Ben Dion's here. I'm gonna go right to that in a minute here. No, oh, okay, yeah, week Ben's 80, here. Week 87. We've uh, already established that. Tuesday, June 18th. <laughs> it was funny though. Uh, the uh, they just left. I'm gonna dedicate the show to the ladies at Chill Spa. Oh, Again. that's nice. And that and I'm dedicating to Mr. Belding. Mr. By the bell. I Mr. Belding. I think it's the second time I do that. So. Right. You, you're is he aware a, that he's... Wait, are you giving a shout-out to Dennis Haskins, who played Mr. Belding yeah, on Saved by he, the Bell? He's not time. listening to us. That's okay, though. It's fun to do it. Is it that fun? What's if, what's more fun? Making a shout-out to Mr. Belding? If Laura's listening, she can tell him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> How's Laura going to tell him? Because he's buddies with the guy. Okay. I'd rather hear this. Oh, boy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so we'll make a, another uh, quick uh, couple of shout-outs here. We've got about 10 minutes, so... Yeah, a couple of new you have ones. more than 10 minutes, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll give it a All right. All right. Well, I got a couple of quick shout outs to a, a new Facebook friend of mine, Leanne McCarthy, Amanda McCarthy's mom. Oh, okay. I saw her over at Goldenrod the other day. Cool. Well, there you go. And just the other day, I, I gave a, 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 a um, new Facebook friend of mine, uh, Jasmine Mann. Oh, Jasmine Mann. I saw her play at the bookery the other day. That's right. She'll so, be playing uh, over at uh, uh, Cruise Night over at Goldenrod yeah, sometime this summer. I think really, she was working on that. She's really good. Yeah, she is. It was at the, uh, the bookery for the um, the guy that does the six o'clock show there on Friday nights. The uh, I can't think of his name right now. Um, Rob Azevedo. Rob Azevedo, yes. And another quick shout out to uh, my friends uh, AJ and Teresa just got married on May sixth. So congratulations to them. They live right around the corner from uh, Daytona uh, five hundred down in Florida. Really? How long do you think their marriage will last? Oh, they've been engaged for nine years. So. Oh, Whoa. okay. Whoa. Well, nine years is you know. It's like a marriage though. So. Both, nine both, years, you could do something for nine years, and then, you know, it all yeah. goes to hell. And a shout-out to uh, the, well, the winner of the U.S. Open, Gary Woodland, his first major in his first U.S. Open. So congratulations. Well, Laura says uh, she will certainly let Mr. Belding know he's getting dedications from EZG. Well, there you go. Thank you. Oh, wow. You might have an in with Dennis Haskins. I hope so. Right. <laughs> he doesn't look like he did on Saved by the Bell, though. That's I fine. think he gained a little weight. I'm certainly one of his number one fans. You know, he was also on the TV show, uh, the game show Scrabble with Chuck Woolery. Really? As a contestant. Well, I didn't know that. Wow, you were really on the ball today. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is probably old news, but the uh, the horses there, 151 Belmont, June 8th on NBC, was Sir Wisdom, if anybody cares. What? Huh? The winner of the, the Belmont. 
Oh, oh my God! Who <laughs> the old news, hell? Old news. Come hey. on. This is the new news. Uh, June nineteenth, AARP membership over at Creamland, five to seven. No early birds. Free cone day. So that's tomorrow. What's the date on that? Tomorrow. Gonna miss it. All oh, right. yeah. If all you uh, tennis fans out there, the uh, breakfast at Wimbledon is coming around the corner, July first to July twelfth. Oh, the breakfast at Wimbledon. Yes. Where do we go to get see that? I think on we TV. need to go to England. On TV. Then and, how, do you, uh, how do you get breakfast? Well, you watch your breakfast. And you watch it. You eat your breakfast <laughs> and you have your TV on. That's what they call breakfast at Wimbledon. Supermarket news. That's so, why they call it breakfast at Wimbledon. Yep, something new oh. I've been tapping into all about the supermarkets, and uh, say in ten years, no more registers. What you just said is articulate, it is intelligent, and it is logical. You use a smartphone. You just go through this area, and it'll just register all your food. And there's no lines, and you just leave. Because people don't I'm speaking. Wait, people don't want to wait in lines anymore. That's what the new technology is happening. I don't believe you. Over I like to wait in line. Uh, if it's worth it, I'll wait in line at Goldenrod. I know that much. And then around the corner on July 3rd, the annual fireworks at the uh, Owens Park. At, at the, uh, Not Park. interested, sir. And, uh, oh, yeah, and I got a hold of my friend Angie, and we raised $1,000 for the uh, Rolling for Hope uh, 2009 Relay for Life. Good for you. Oh, yeah, and then the, uh, uh, what be the entertainment report with uh, our rest in peace, Gloria Vanderbilt passed away yesterday, 96 years old. She was a fashion designer, so I don't think she'll make the death pool because she's not one of the categories. Well, she was 97, what was she, 90? 96. 96. Doesn't beat the category for the uh, death pool guy, so. So you're saying she doesn't make Polly C's death, uh, no. death video? No, rest in peace. The though. Grim Reaper of Manchester, Polly C. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are a couple weeks old, but the, uh, he told me to do some quick Holly stories, so I did some. Uh, you some have a Holly story for us? Hollywood. This is about a month old. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Debbie Moore got a facelift first time in public in uh, quite a while. Who Rick, did? Debbie Moore. Who's Who? Debbie Moore? She's a celebrity. Debbie Moore? Yeah, Debbie Moore. No, There's no, no, no. one no, named no, no, Debbie no. Moore that's a celebrity. Debbie Moore. No, no. No, no. not Debbie. It's with an M. Demi. Demi. Oh, Demi Moore. Yes. And Britney Spears' life is going nowhere fast. <laughs> what? Is that true? <laughs> it is. In conjunction with how the do you Demi know Moore story. Know? How do you know? She just got a rehab. She's just a mess. What do you, how do you know she's a mess? What kind of rehab did she get? A, get Alcohol or something, drugs. She's just a mess. How do you know she's a mess? You're, you're, you're labeling He's this He's inside information. Mandy, right. Mandy Moore completes the track to Mount Everest. A base camp. Oh, this guy here uh, uh, died a couple weeks ago. Uh, Carmen Cadelio. He'll make the death video. He's 85 because he's a godfather at movie fame. That's definitely the category for the Paul Comer death video. Nah, I'm going to say he doesn't make it. All right. And uh, Dancing with the Stars. I'm going to ask Paul not to put that in his Jordan video. Fisher and Elliot Woods are engaged, and they've been on the show. Who? Dancing with the Stars, the show that used to be on ABC. Jordan Fisher and Elliot Woods is, is, are engaged. Does anybody know these people? We don't know who that is. Well, these are stories I got from Yahoo, so he told me to investigate. So yeah. I did want you to investigate. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And then well, we, have a couple, we have a couple of uh, uh, happy anniversaries this month. Going back to that again. So you can play your happy anniversary music. No, nah, not today. All right, well, I'll list one then. <laughs> a couple here for the month. Uh, my friends, uh, Lauren and Brian from the old Stop and Shop days. Uh, Matt McSorley and his, his, uh, good, uh, his good wife, Ogala. Good morning, Peter. Oh. Ruth and Sam. Megan and Jim. Uh, good old Carol and Jim. Who are these people? Carol and Jim Robito. Oh, yeah, I know oh, them. I know them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the guy on the, on the, on the, uh, on the, on the desk. On the, what? <laughs> Over there. Over there are Ben and Ashley Dion. Their anniversary month. Congratulations. Oh, boy. And Sue and John. That's very sweet. That is really nice of you, man. And uh, nice. since we're running short on time, we've got to write to the in-town Manchester. Wait around. a second. Are you sure? No, this is this is a big one. This is the you know, Summer yeah. Music Series. Yeah, you know, Summer Fest All right. Okay. You got to, yeah, go ahead. Are you ready? All events are free at Veterans Park. I don't know when they did the opening act, but they'll to, to be announced. Okay. You're going to go through the whole list. Yep. July oh, 9th. July 11th. What's the first one, E's? July 11th, Foreigner's Journey. They, okay. They played it many times. At That's Austin right. Band. Very good. Foreigner's Journey, this if you like new, Foreigner, or you a, like Journey. This is a new selection. I've seen them play. <laughs> that, that, now, hold on, Ease. Hold on. This is what's great about Foreigner's Journey. If you're a Foreigner fan, like say you were a Foreigner and a Journey fan, and confused? they were both playing the same night somewhere, right? Where, where do you go? Do you go to, for the Foreigner show, or you, do you go to the Journey sure. show? But this, you don't have to worry about it, because it's all in one, all right down here in Manch. 
And I've seen them play before. They're really good. The concert starts at 7. And uh, this is a new selection, and I've seen them play twice at the Bookery this last week. The Ukuleles will be playing July 18th. Really? Yep. And, is it uh, true? July 25th. Those are all on Thursdays. The uh, Army Rock Band will make another appearance. The Army Rock Band will be back. This uh, sucks. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan, so I won't be going You're not a show. fan of the Army Rock Band? I've seen them play like a dozen times. So that's too many. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Army Rock Band. <laughs> too many. So August first. Would be back. August first. I would definitely be going to this show. Jimmy LaHoo uh, band will be back. All right. And then Where? the week after, I think August eighth, they have the annual uh, LA, LA Hospital five k. It's one of the hottest days of the year. Are you taking calls, Yep. All right. Good morning. You're on the air. You've lost your way, brother. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new selection. August fifteenth, the Woodstock tribute. All right. The Woodstock tribute. And what? this is a good one to end it. The August twenty second, the Adam Enrich Band will be back in town. Okay, it's not that's not what it's called, but uh, we know what you mean. Oh, did I mess it up again? Well, it's Adam Ezra. Oh, Adam Ezra, they're really good. I've heard them play before. They played at Maggie Speed, I believe, right? That's right. They played at uh, oh my God. first couple Maga Paloozas. I mean, I got a free CD from them because they said the uh, if you don't have the money, you can just take it. So I, I took them up on their offer. Well, Jay, uh, here it is. Uh, Jay Page wants to know, let's get some dirt on the drama in the Ben Ashley relationship. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's Jay Page. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm still wondering how he has a job over there at Memorial High School. Right. Wow. Right. Oh. He's part-time over at Goldenrod, though, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> and then this year, there's going to be one movie. I think this is going to be a big one. I've never seen it before. It's what do you mean? In the park, 8 to 9.30. August 29th to wrap up the season from the in-town Manchester. Oh, the sponsor is TD Bank for the whole summer. It's August 29th, Jaws. Oh, Jaws. I've never seen it. You've never You're seen kidding. Jaws? I was too young. To, my, my folks didn't want me to see it. It's, it's rated R. Is it really? No. <laughs> it's so, rated R. So that's the, uh, the fun of the uh, what's going on in town. All their I don't know. Shows. The beginning of the movie when that girl's swimming in the ocean. I, t- I tend to think they... Yeah. I got to tell you, that's a, a hell of a musical score. It was the music that got you. Really? Doom, 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 you get scared. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, yeah, it's frightening. Oh, boy. All right, well, that's nice. That's real. <laughs> this Thursday, this I can't promote these guys enough. The Bookery will be having a new, a new uh, act uh, called The River Sister, June 20th at 630. It's a free event. A free event. Yep, over the bookery. Nothing like a free event. And uh, a couple of fun events going on at the Palace Theater. The, uh, I'm not going to go all through them all. I'm running out of time. The children's no, you, I'll, I'll <laughs> let you know. Time, I'll let you know when all you're right. running out of time. Children's Summer Series is going to be uh, playing, and it's going to be uh, $9 a ticket. Magic B.J. Hickman will be in town. July 2nd and 3rd. This is the last week of the 2018-2019 uh, uh, Palace Theater um, Citizens Bank Series. Performing Arts Series, and Buddy Holly will be in town one more week. So Forget if you it. See a buddy, your Mike Martineau went to see it last week. Yeah, I said it was a great do. show. I know, I saw the uh, dress rehearsal, and I, I agree. Right, he said that was better than the dress rehearsal, though. All right. That was before we all went to... And, uh, uh, summer camps, if anybody's interested in keeping their kids off the streets, something, <laughs> to, something to do. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, The Lion King, but sorry, The Lion King sold out, so... Get them kids Look, off the street. The musical Junior, Hunter, and my, the wonderful Megan. No, so the kids aren't going to be on the street because they're going to see The Wizard of Oz? You think no, that's going to keep the kids off the street? Two weeks of camp. They go two weeks of camp. To Wizard of Oz camp? Yep. Oh. It's a little pricey, but the, uh, they have a great time. What do you mean it's a Wizard of Oz camp? It, the whole theme is The Wizard of Oz? July, June 25th to July 5th, they do two weeks of camp. Well, I know, but what do they actually do for activities? They... Uh, they get the show ready, and then they perform it on July oh, 5th Oh, okay, at 7. it's a stage show. That's yeah. all you had to say. I'm sorry, July 5th at 7 and July 6th at 11. I just got my ticket for the July 5th show. Want to play a quick game, Ease? I'm a big Wizard of Oz fan. Want to play a quick game? Uh, I guess. The name of the game is Ball Buster. <laughs> it's a family game, fun for children. And for adults, it's exciting. You make strategic offensive and defensive moves. Then try to bust your opponent's balls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go this real quick. The, uh, <laughs> oh, you want to play? Bumbug you want to play Ball Buster? No. You sure? He seems All pretty right. certain. Okay, we'll play tomorrow or the next day.
You have a lot of notebooks over there. You can't, yeah, you can't, you can't come in tomorrow, by the way, He's got tons of stuff. I'm all set till Friday now. Yeah, because you can't come in. Nick Lavalley's coming in, and he's requested no EZG. That's fine. I'll do it tomorrow. I got morning prior. Okay. The uh, trolley okay. night's coming up. Only one this year, Thursday, July 11th at 4 to 7. So you can log on to Facebook, get all kind of information. It's a free event. It's a Thursday, of course. And uh, Don't up. forget, you, if you're logged on, you can log on to goldenrodrestaurants.com. Oh, yeah, another fun event coming over to the Palace Theater. The Red Hot Chili Peppers will be back at the Palace Theater. Really? I didn't know they came around this way. September 25th at 730. The real band? The fourth time. The real band? Bagpipe. Oh. The bagpipes? Yes. I've seen them three years in a row. I probably will not be seeing them this year, though. The bagpipes? And this lady I can't promote enough. She'll be playing for... No, is this a bagpipe band? Yes. They play Your musical instruments. showing. And drums, it's really loud. It's really good stuff. And uh, tonight, uh, June 18th, at Patel's Restaurant, if you want to head over there tonight it's at 6 o'clock, Amanda McCarthy will be in the house. Oh, boy. Are you going? No. Why aren't you going? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw her the other day. Uh, over at Murphy Tap. You, you're all uh, Amanda McCarthy out. Yeah, well, plus the, the uh, yeah. And plus, I got to walk down there and walk back. So that's another reason I'm not going. June 20th, uh, and she was also playing Thursday night. And, uh, oh, my God. Fisher 9 o'clock Stadium. can't come fast enough. It's a set before the game and a set after the game. And so she'll be there at Fisher Cat. So if you want to see her there. And, uh, oh, yeah, and then uh, for all you wrestling fans <laughs> out there, this Sunday is they have another wrestling event on pay-per-view. That's baloney. It's called, a new one named called Stomping Grounds. Oh, I'm sorry, that one just happened. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. So that's old news. Yeah, this happened June 16th. Well, so the next one is <laughs> July 14th. Wow, wow. Slow down, egghead. Extreme Rules. And this, coming up this month, is called The Best in New Hampshire, New Hampshire Magazine. One night, one state, one party. Some parties was at the Northeast. Delta Dental Stadium is all go for charity. It's kind of pricey. I found out tickets are sixty-five dollars. So if you're interested, you hey, hey, check that tune at the door. You are not the boss of me. Visit bestinnewhampshire.com. And if you like the Fisher Cats and more fun events coming on, there's uh, we're hosting a second annual food. All right, festival. we got to say goodbye to our Facebook Live room uh, 